Tonight on Game Night, Dave, Aaron, Lincoln, and Nikki will fly into outer space. These are the voyages of the ISS <laughs> Vanguard? ISS Vanguard is a game for one to four players from Awakened Realms and designed by Krzysztof Piskorski, Pavel Samborski, and Andrzej Betkiewicz. It's a game in two parts where you manage the ship and its systems and then explore strange new planets. So let's get to our craft and launch in three, two, one. Game night! Oh, sorry. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Lincoln. Will you reteach us ISS Vanguard? I will, <laughs> since we've all played the tutorial and now we are going past the tutorial to the first real expanded mission. And as we all remember, <laughs> ISS Vanguard is the name of our ship that's yep. flying out into the outer reaches of space. Right. Uh, the game comes with this cool little prequel comic book that tells you the story of how we decoded alien signals and found coordinates in human DNA mm -hmm. of where to go. And we built a ship with some alien technology. And the first place it took us was the tutorial mission, which was this page of the Planetopedia that right That was here. the name of the, pl uh, the planet, right? The tutorial. Tutorial planet. Uh, no, <laughs> it's actually, the, the name's okay. always right here. It's Eye, Eye of, of the Void. Void. It was a big Dyson sphere. And we the got in there and, you EOTV. know. Yeah, it's a yeah. pretty good <laughs> They cracked the, the simple hey, code. You know, we're space scientists. We're not imaginative True. writers. <laughs> we go with simple code names. <laughs> it's not code name Black Star. <laughs> yeah. We just go with EOTV. Anyway, so um, I'm going to use this tutorial to reteach and tell, uh, tell our audience some things about how to play the game and go through it. And then when the game tells us to, we're gonna flip this page and get to a new planet. Uh, so obviously there are spoilers here for the first real mission of the campaign, but it's not heavily spoilery. It really just introduces a few more rules and completes teaching you a few more mechanics of the game. And the reason we haven't turned the page of this Planetopedia to the next destination yet is because the game hasn't told us to yet. <laughs> this is a very procedural game and everything will be revealed and put in its place and explained to you at the exact moment the game wants you to know it and no earlier. Where does so, the planet card go though? <laughs> what, what are these for? You're gonna find out soon. <laughs> what goes here, it's gonna tell you. Okay. What, like, what, do we put a card here? When the book, it's all cool. exactly right okay. at the right time. Very cool. So, um, now of course it's possible to miss things and go, are we supposed to have a card here? But usually it's just part of an explanation. Right. Um, so one other thing to mention is there's this log book with a thousand or so little entries to read. We are gonna be using the app in, uh, in place of that, which has cool sound effects and fully voiced actors. And music, you can which do, we can't use. <laughs> we, you can do either, either way for that, and um, I believe there's also a little uh, log book of things you can write down which you can either use the app or mm. reprint from the internet or oh, use wow. the original one that came with the game. So they give you a lot of flexibility there. Um, this is another book, the System Maps book, which we will be told to open at the appropriate time, <laughs> and it will show us the next place we're going and planets <laughs> to scan and everything. Yes, yeah, so it's it's a theme I'm going to be coming back to. <laughs> so, but uh, as you remember, the game is essentially divided into two halves. The Planetopedia half, where we land on a planet or structure and investigate with our crew members. Oh. And the meat of this game is dice checks and the management of our dice. And so I'm gonna spend a few minutes explaining dice checks to you in detail, because that's the main part of the game. But the other half of the game is this ship binder. Wow. And this is actually really cool. We're, this is, we're gonna start with this, uh, because we've just finished the tutorial. For anybody watching who has played the tutorial or wants to follow this in the rule book, we're just actually starting from the bottom of page 25 as if we've just finished the tutorial and done the steps it tells you to do at the end of that. And then it says, now pick up the ship binder and read log 750 and go on to the next ship phase from there. Um, the ship book is entirely procedural and none of it is explained in the game manual because it doesn't need to be. It is exactly just read this page and do what it says and then turn to the page it tells you. It's almost like a choose your own adventure book that you modify every time it tells you to move a card to a different slot. It's a very cool system and we'll get into it in a few minutes. But back to the Planetopedia and our dice checks. 
We have reference cards that explain. Rice checks, I'm hungry now. It's the rice checks. <laughs> I mean, we should have rice checks. It should be the official snack of <laughs> dice <laughs> check games. <laughs> we got reference cards that tell us uh, what to do on a turn and how to make dice checks. So uh, each of us represents a section of crew on the ship. Uh, we've just randomly distributed them, but I'm science and Lincoln is security and Nikki's recon and Dave's engineering. We won't always use the same crew members. We have one each right now, but as part of the ship phase, we'll probably get more. And you can assign them to certain tasks on the ship. And you always have to save one from each crew section to go down to hmm. the next planet. The tutorial people that we used are all in resting crew, because that is part of the ending the tutorial uh, steps. You can never use the exact same crew member tw two games in a row to go down to the same planet. They have to go on a mission and then rest. And if they go on, and the, all the people that we use this game will rest for the next one. So they have to you know, restock. You can't just use the same person over and over. So when we get down here, it will tell us where to place our landing craft and all of our people will start there. And we're gonna have some locations printed on the board and we're gonna have more like this where when we reach that space, it'll tell us to read or listen to a log, which will almost always include placing a new card there. Neat. These cards will almost always have dice checks on them. And usually there will be rewards for passing those dice checks. Sometimes the dice check, this symbol means blocked. This means you cannot leave this space until you have <laughs> completed the dice check and probably replaced that card. Um, sometimes the dice check will give you uh, extra cards or extra rewards that you need to complete the goal of the planet. Sometimes you won't even know what the goal of the planet is until you've completed enough dice <laughs> checks and revealed enough cards to sort of get to the final quest. Um, and sometimes, you know, you'll just need to make your way towards the end to, to all get to the same place and do whatever the final goal is. But so let's look at the different types of dice checks and how we're going to use them. We all started the tutorial with five dice and we all now have six because we got so many success tokens during the tutorial. These start here and during the missions you can earn them there by certain actions and certain dice checks. Uh, and if you earn enough, you can buy new dice for your crew. So we all have three basic dice, uh, one in each color. The little corner markings on each die tell you what type of die it is. So these basic dice have this X slash flower symbol marked by the corner pips. And then we have specialized dice, which are good for sort of passing dice checks of specific types. Uh, I'm science and I have a sort of biomedical die and a science research die. And Dave has a mining and geology die and a couple other blue types of dice. And so we have, those are our specialized dice. And we all, with our upgrading ability, bought a Vanguard die. That's a new type of special die that we all have. We have a different colors of them. But they all have Vanguard symbols on three sides, which are wild and can be used for any symbol. And they all have three accident symbols on them, which can be bad, but are not always bad. <laughs> they can also just be whiffs. Uh, an accident symbol is never good, but it can just be a blank that you miss with. I'll come back and explain that in a minute. When you make a dice check, it's always going to be on your turn. You're not going to generally make dice checks when it's not your turn. There are ten steps to a dice check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Most rule questions in this game can actually be answered by looking at the ten steps in the dice check and making sure that you actually did them in the correct order. Now, most of the time, the dice check is gonna be as simple as, I think I need this symbol and I'm gonna take these dice and maybe I'm gonna borrow one from Nikki and then I'm gonna roll them and see what I got. It's pretty simple and we'll get, and that's how it'll go most of the time. But if you ever need to add injury or hazard dice or borrow multiple dice from multiple people or change the results of dice, that's all in these steps. So I'm gonna go through them real quickly but the procedure of the dice check tells you everything you need to know about dice checks. So let's say I'm here on this space and I'm trying to install a power coupling. We did this during the tutorial, but I'm, just to use this as a dice check. So I'm looking for either this mechanical wrench symbol, which Dave has on one of his dice, but I do not. So really I need a Vanguard symbol, which appears on every die 
but it's better on this Vanguard die. So first I choose how many dice I'm going to commit to this. Or, I'm sorry, I, the other part of passing this test is I can pass it if I just commit two green and a blue dice. So maybe I, maybe I want to do that if I have enough dice left and I haven't exhausted them already. But let's say, let's say I commit some extra dice just to be safe. That's step one. If there are other players in your space, this is a fully cooperative game, we are all trying to pass this together, they may loan you one die each. So maybe I'm out of blue dice, maybe I've made a previous dice check and my blue dice are spent, but Dave is in my space and he loans me his blue die with the wrench on it. It is going to, at the end of the, at the end of the thing, and we'll see the step, it's gonna go back to his pool, he always keeps his own die, but it's gonna be spent, but now I have a much better chance of getting the result I need. One die from other players in, the, in your space can be loaned. Now, step two, add injury and hazard dice. Injury dice would be from injuries I have already taken, they would be cards on my character, and hazard dice would be from the space or any other condition that exists on this uh, environment. 90% of the time you're gonna skip that step. <laughs> we roll the dice. All the dice you chose for the check are gonna be used up and exhausted to your pool at the end of this check. So we roll the dice. Um, that's, that's why I'm gonna have Nikki roll my dice during the game for <laughs> okay. me. Woo. Now, now we modify the results. We are gonna have section cards. In the tutorial, we just had a little deck of three section mm -hmm. cards. In this more fully expanded uh, environment, we're gonna have a, better, a bigger deck of 10. But you only have a hand limit of two right now because our crew members are all level one. That's on your player board. You can see that you have a hand limit of two and it goes ah. up to three and four as your crew members get promoted. But we're still very beginning red shirts right now. <laughs> you can only <laughs> hold two cards, and that is a hard limit. If you draw a third card, you immediately discard down to two. Okay. You cannot play one to get rid of it. We're in the lower oh. decks? Yeah, we are we're definitely, everybody's lower decks right now. <laughs> um, however, it is uh, both of these cards, which I, these are tutorial cards, so they're not gonna be ones that are in my hand this, uh, this game. But both of these cards have during a dice check, re-roll abilities. So maybe I didn't get the result I want. In fact, I didn't. I got a bunch of basic of things mm -hmm. which do nothing, and this DNA symbol. Let me, I'm sorry to interrupt this question. Just, just to make sure this example isn't confusing. Technically, you have, you have succeeded with two greens and a blue, right? You're correct. Okay. For the sake of argument, I'm going for the better success level and trying to get whatever the top level of this is. Okay. Uh, and I haven't fully explained how Correct. to, how to outcome this, um, Got it. this dice check yet. But let's say I'm really going for that wrench symbol. Correct. So in step three, I can modify the results. I can use the top of these section cards to, some of them will just let you change a result, some of them will let you re-roll a die. So let's, I'm gonna re-roll Dave's blue die, and maybe another one just hoping for a vanguard symbol. And I got the wrench that I need. So I'm, you know, we got the good result we need. That's step four, modify the results. Other crew members in the same sector can also use their cards. So if uh, Dave was in my sector because he loaned me that die, maybe he had one that said, flip any blue die to the face of your choice or re-roll a blue die, blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna worry about the, yep. the details of the cards, yep. but other players in your space can use the cards. All right, step five, we still haven't gotten to the end of the dice check. Step five, check for dice combinations. This is another way to use these section cards. You'll notice at the bottom of each section card, there's a, next, a, a second ability, which will give you a bonus thing like healing your crew member or drawing cards or a bonus movement, uh, refreshing supplies, all kinds of things, effects like that. But those will require using up dice from the skill check in either like a combination or sometimes it'll say you need a basic success symbol to be used. That's the little X flower mm -hmm. symbol. If you're gonna do that, check for dice. This is called checking for dice combinations, even though it may, it may all sometimes just be one die. Might be two or three. Um, you do that, you process the result of gaining supplies or healing or whatever it is, and that die comes out of the dice check and is spent, it is not available to be here and pass the check. Mm 
Okay. It is a separate process from passing the check. All right. Which is another reason you might roll extra dice. Correct. Uh, step six, resolve injury and danger dice. Now, if we had rolled these along with this and they had effects that would, you know, have a deleterious effect on your character or whatever this is, then you process those, but you've already had a chance to do something. Maybe your card effect let you get rid of those dice or turn them to a blank side. That's step six. Step seven, in order, resolve any depicted special effects and move any dice used to trigger them to the spent pool. Step eight is mark outcomes. This does not seem especially necessary to me, but now is the point where we say, I've got a wrench symbol and I'm gonna mark this outcome to say that we've got that part of the skill check. It is possible on some um, skill checks to actually succeed at multiple levels at once and I'm gonna address that in a minute. So if for instance, this, this one has a moving track which I'll come back to, but if we succeeded at both of those at the same time, you would mark that they were both completed and I'll get tell you what happens in a minute. Step nine <laughs> is spending all the dice. So as I mentioned, they all are spent to your spent pool. The ones that were loaned to you by other players go back to their spent pool. And then step 10 is resolving the outcome. Like I said, this is gonna be very simple most of the time. Step 10 <laughs> is resolving the outcome. You're checking this die, okay. uh, this card or whatever it was that the die check was. If you succeeded at multiple levels, you always check from top to bottom. So going back to Crash Site here, which was one of our first tutorial places. If you manage to get the green and the red section at the same time, you read the green one first, and it says gain a success token, and then replace this card with P102. And you would do that, which would completely wipe away the card and then not process the bad red result. So that's why you do them from top to bottom. Um, another thing to be aware of in the results or outcomes section is these arrows. So in this, for, in this instance, rolling the wrench like we did lets me refresh a die. That's actually really great because I'll take one of my good dice, put it back into my available dice pool. And then this arrow means now go down here and also do the normal success of going to log 424, which is a good success thing that we were aiming for. So a lot of times you will get like the super success and then follow the arrow down to the normal success. Or in this case of this one, the bad success, or the bad outcome, which was roll a, a danger die, also let you go on and complete the normal green success version. So a lot of times an arrow will have more than one result and let you do those in that order. Okay, um, this one, in this uh, specific instance, rolling an accident die symbol put tokens on the bad track and rolling any other die result put tokens on the good green track. So that one just moves success toward one result or another. But it is possible to complete those both at the same time. You go from top to bottom. A lot of uh, dice check results will replace the card with a new one or read a log that tells you to do certain things. That's the whole dice check process. But you're gonna do it on most of your turns. So that's why you've got a card in front of it. So when you're down on a planet, who goes first? We can choose a start player. The recon player actually makes the final choice if we can't agree, <laughs> but sometimes it will be important for say, we need Dave to go first and do okay. this before I can do this and then you can move to X space. So sure. We choose a start player. And they actually do get a little start player token. And then the start, then each of us in order takes two actions. Here are the five types of actions. One of them is not gonna be used at all right, right. now. And the other four are pretty simple. Um, you can travel. You can move from space to space on the board. This almost always has a cost. And like I said, sometimes it will be blocked with this symbol until you have done something to replace that card. This means just spend any die. So you have to move any die from your available dice to spent pool. This means roll the hazard danger die. And if you can't quite see, there's always a letter on the danger hazard <laughs> die. That's a T. Okay. And there's a little chart that has different letters on it. And so there's a probably increasing as the game goes on more dangerous levels of hazard dice. 
E and G and I and T, <laughs> and those have different results based on what you roll. Um, so sometimes travel can be dangerous. But you can look and see, oh, it's a T travel die, and five out of the eight results are nothing, and you know the other three are this. It's, it's, it's actually a cool way of changing the results, right? Exactly. Of weighting them and making this and die just always either, using that die. either easy, better for you or worse for you, depending. And just, to, and just so we know, like this <coughs> die has one blank side. I think four ones. Four ones and a two and a three and a four essentially on spiky hazard symbols. Um, yeah. This icon, the travel icon, will be explained down here on global conditions, so that can change during the mission. Hmm. Right now it says uh, spend a die, just like this, or roll the hazard die. Right now it's a choice, but that could change, for instance, a storm comes in and now it costs two dice to move, or two hazard dice, something like that. So this is a global condition that will change this symbol, but this symbol always means check over here. So that's travel. Uh, you can travel twice in a row if you really need to get somewhere. You can do any action, two of your, both of your two actions for your turn, except special actions, which are these dice checks on locations, or these are actually called point of interest cards. Hmm. Now, Dave, because there we all do two actions on our turn, when you have done an action, flip this to one action <laughs> left. Okay. okay. You laugh, but it is always possible to like forget. What did I do for my first Am action? Am I doing both of my actions for my? You turn? do both of your actions. Then I do both. Okay. Then, yes. Then there's rest and prepare. They're both restocking actions, and here's how they work. Rest. Okay. We don't have um. In the tutorial, we did not have supplies. We just were able to rest and regain our dice. Supplies is a new mechanic that we knew was coming, but it's coming in this upcoming uh, encounter, in this upcoming planet. Supplies are stored on our landing craft. We're gonna have a separate little uh, area for that. And every time we rest, we have to reduce the supplies. So when we run out of supplies, uh, there's, uh, there's gonna be a mo another less uh, good way to restore our dice. Oh gosh. But normally, rest. You reduce the supplies on your lander by one. Uh, you refresh half of your total number of dice. That's not half of your exhausted dice, it's just half of your total number. So for us, it is always gonna be three. So you take three, of, three dice of your choice and you put them back here in your pool. And, and you draw a section card from your deck. So ideally, you've already spent one or more and you don't have two that you have to get rid of one, but sometimes that happens. The other sort of stop and wait of, uh, action is prepare. In prepare, you draw a section card and or make a dice check. This, is, this action is not used all that often in my experience, but it can be beneficial. You're making a dice check. It's not a special action that has a, you know, impact on the, on the environment or on the scenario that we're doing. But it just is for the purposes of making those dice combinations at the bottom of your card. Uh, or your hand of cards. So maybe you really have a, a result at the bottom of your card that might heal your injury, or uh, for instance, here's an engineer card that Dave has. Maybe he really needs two blue dice for the uh, special action dice check he's about to check. So he's gonna roll his red die and try and get this pick symbol to refresh two uh, blue dice. Hmm. Uh, and as you remember from the tutorial, this A just means any result any result except an accident. An mm. accident is always a blank and you can't use it for dice combinations like this. A lot of skill checks or special actions on the board do not have accident symbol listed on them, which just means nothing happens. And of course, they're great dice to re-roll. Sometimes they do have bad effects listed for them. For instance, this one means you had to gain an injury if you rolled an accident. Mm. And this one, it moved the red bad track along. So you can usually see what, if anything, an accident symbol is going to do, but it's always a blank miss and you can't use it for dice combinations. All right, that's the entire prepare action. Like I said, it's not used all that often because it exhausts some of your dice just for those little card combinations. Uh, lift off. This action has not actually been explained to us by the game yet. Right. Hint, hint, we're not going to need it yet, <laughs> but. Um, this is, uh, in future planets, 
when we all get back to the landing craft and we have to actually take an action uh, to leave the planet, mm. including potentially leaving crew members behind nice. who are so far away that it would take too many turns or maybe an enemy is closing in on us <laughs> and we can't afford to wait for them, you can leave crew members behind. <laughs> they are just gone and out of the campaign, but you may have still succeeded in whatever your mission was on that planet. <laughs> um, so that is liftoff. We don't need to really worry about it. Exertion is not an action, so you don't mark one of your two actions, but it's, a, it's an easy, quick way, and especially when we run out of supplies, the only way to refresh some of your dice. Mm. Um, it, it must be on your turn, though. You can't do it in the middle of somebody else's dice check or anything. Uh, you sacrifice a die, which means you take a die and put it back in your crew compartment. <laughs> mm. It's not gone forever, it's just gone for this mission. But then you refresh um, five dice, so you essentially get your entire dice pool back. If you have done that several times and you're now at a total of three or fewer dice, you, instead of sacrificing a die, you gain an exhausted injury. So that means time is really running out, we're getting really low on dice, and we're starting to injure ourselves just by <laughs> being on the planet. <laughs> Ideally, you want to complete the mission before then. Yeah. Or there are ways to regain your supplies and get more, you know, dice refreshes. That is all the actions that you can take. <laughs> that is all the ways to do a dice check. Everything else will be explained to you by the game. <laughs> um, just to, um, this is another thing that was not in the tutorial but will be explained to us shortly. Uh, every character, which we're going to choose one to go down to the planet, will have a special ability at the bottom of their card and it will say how many charges that has. So we haven't been oh, told to do that yet, but you have a charges spot on mm. your board, which will be told. Is that told. what this number is? Yeah, that is that number. Unique discoveries, again, will be told when to put that on the planet. That's like a special treasury kind of artifact on the uh, planet. If you miss it, it's gone. You can actually, you know, not get some of those in the campaign, hmm. but I, they are, sometimes they're the main mission of the plan and you need to get them, but sometimes they're just a consequence of going through and getting good dice checks. Uh, everything else will be placed on the board when the game tells us to. The last major thing that was not in the tutorial and will be part of this next planet is discoveries. I don't think this is explained by the uh, log, so I'm just going to say it now because it's in the rule book. There will be five types of discoveries and they're going to be up here in a little section that um, that the Planetopedia will have marked for us. So there's microorganisms, alien tech, strange flora, in fact you can put these up here even though we don't know where they go yet, minerals and live specimens. These are all other things we can find and research on the planet. And the way we do that is with leads you'll find certain skill checks that will say, if you succeed here, draw two alien tech leads. And you just draw two from this bag. These are numbered from zero to three. I think three is very rare and is the highest number. So you're gonna draw one now and waste it? Ha. Yes, waste your yeah. luck I'm gonna right waste now. the luck, yes, right now. Here comes the three. Um, the skill check might give you one or two or three of these. No, I drew two zeros. Oh, excellent. So <laughs> you put those on the type of lead you got you're trying to get to three. When you get to three, you draw a card from that deck. If you if it has this recycle symbol, it goes back in the Ugh, bag after that. Of course, that. the zeros go if back. If it has yeah, yeah, yeah. no symbol, it is used up. Uh, this one actually has plus one charge, so whoever got that actually gets a bonus charge on their ability. But the ones that are un, uh, unrecycled just are used up once you're uh, and the other thing is you don't get change back. If, you, if we had this one, and we drew and six, I, we drew six <laughs> that's all wasted to draw uh. one card, yes. Mm. All right, that's how leads work. So that's another thing that we will be aware of and a, sort of another treasure we can bring back from the planet. Um, here, just set these up here for now even though we haven't gotten to there, that yet. All right, I think that is it. Um, do you guys have any questions? There are some things, yes, like tokens that haven't been explained yet. Okay. What happens then? Will the game explain it to us? The game will explain us when we need to know. Exactly right, Dave. You, it's like you've already <laughs> played ISS Vanguard, or at least you've bought into the philosophy of ISS Vanguard. I like it. Um, I, other than that, we're ready to read log okay. 750, which is how we start the ship phase of the end of the tutorial slash starting the next encounter. 
Cool. Okay. Anybody, everybody good? Yep. You ready yeah. to go to warp speed or whatever? Sure. Okay. Cool. Okay, log 750. Captain's log, entry D212. It seems the final destination of our journey proved to be anything but. The giant pitch black spear suspended in the void at the divine coordinates did not contain the answers we sought. Only a mysterious message and a list of countless other worlds. Now, we set off to explore one of them, wondering the true purpose of the mysterious builders of the Eye of the Void. Our mission is about to get much longer and more perilous than we could have imagined hmm. back on Earth. Of course, not That's everyone likes the idea of extending our mission. Many already look back toward home, that's now some 50 light years away. <laughs> Open the ship book at page two, bridge, and begin ship management. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the ISS Vanguard tutorial. Okay, well there we go. We didn't play that the last like time. Like I said, but now well we that was the that yeah. was the end of the tutorial, and this is our first ship <laughs> book management phase. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'll show it here. But I'm gonna, it's that's cool. There, are, this is a lot of very cool wow. uh, sections here. That's it so shows cool. you all the little pages you can turn to. Um, and it's going to explain. I, I'll have each of us read like a section while we go here. All right. So, install bridge cards. This is the bridge section. Take all bridge cards, objective, secondary objective, tech level, bridge upgrade out of the awaiting envelope. The awaiting envelope, right now, the only thing in there is a research card, <laughs> which we got from our unique right. discovery last, uh, last game, the tutorial. I forgot that. But, in future scenarios, there may be lots of things in there. Okay. So basically, this is how you save your game. This is the save system. Ah, okay. So when it tells you to put things in here, it's because they're about to be active in the next game, or at least available to you the next game. That is the awaiting envelope. So there's nothing in there uh, that we need to worry about. Take all bridge cards out of the awaiting envelope and insert them into the appropriate slots on page three. Cards with bridge upgrade travel are inserted on the reverse side. The effects of these cards will be resolved during the following steps on this page. So we didn't, we, these are the starting cards that we are told by the tutorial to put in the, in the book. And they are medium morale of the four morale levels. I believe it's low, medium, very low and high. <laughs> Static. Tech level one and our campaign objective, the next step. And this will this will actually tell us uh, where we're going next or what the next goal is. Generate command and energy pools. Place a number of command tokens in the command pool. As a, this is actually to the left of the ship book, but we're not going to keep this book open on the table the entire time. As indicated by your objective card, we have two command tokens. Okay. Um, you can put them anywhere right there but we're going to spend these during the show. Oh, and they need to come out here anyway yeah. because they're going to fold, flip the page. Eventually. Yeah. This will all be separate. Um, if there's a penalty token, discard all but one command token and the penalty token. Um, place a number of energy tokens indicated by your tech level. Okay. In the energy pool. Does it say three? Three. Yes. Okay. So those are essentially our resources for the ship book phase right now. Okay. Check the morale and bridge upgrade cards for any effects. We're medium morale is blank and we don't have any upgrades yet. All right, check situations. Take all situations out of the awaiting envelope. There aren't any yet. That would be things like broken systems on the ship or mutinies and bad morale, things <laughs> like that. Um, reveal new situations. Um, draw a number of situation cards indicated by your current objective. One situation. This. Um, this is clarified by the designers that you actually just take the first situation card from this and you don't shuffle these up and take a random one or anything. 
unless it tells you to do that. So we are taking actually situation card number one. Mm. All right. If morale is very low, you draw an additional situation, okay. but we're not in that situation yet. Um, we place these face up above the ship book, so we're just going to place it anywhere out here. And it does say, read these new situations, but don't resolve their effects yet. So we just need to be aware of them. And I'm going to give this to Dave to put a sleeve on and read, please. All right, there we go. Homesick. It's been a couple of years since Vanguard left Earth, and the ship's new mission seems like a daunting, enormous enterprise. Don't say enterprise, guys. <laughs> Some crew members Science's finger, are right. only now realizing that they may never see Earth again. All right, effect. Lose one command? Is that what these no, are? No, it says don't resolve the effects. Oh, okay, thank you. The effect is lose one of these star tokens? What uh, was command, command, that's correct. Okay. Lose a command and shuffle this card into possible situations, or... Lose one success token. success token, which we don't have yet, and shuffle this card into possible situations. So we get to choose one of those two. And then when solved, remove this card from the game. And to solve it, we just need the DNA or the atom. I see. So that essentially tells us what the bad result is going to be, and the good res or the good result is just getting rid of it. But the effect doesn't happen yet. It just says get it out and put it above the ship book. Okay. So it's an ongoing situation. Um, <laughs> and then the last part of the bridge step is getting out the planetary scanner. Uh-oh. So a new component we what? haven't seen or didn't know existed until Ooh. now. <laughs> and if there was a card in it from the planet we had previously visited, okay. we would take it out and put it in the landing cards tray. But there's not. It's blank because we haven't gone anywhere except Eye of the Void yet. That's cool. That was the bridge section. This is going to be a very simple since we're starting the game. Yep. And we now go to page five star map. Oh my gosh. Oh, read this? Just okay. read page five. Yep. Scouting mission. Fly number one. I fly ISS Vanguard to new places. Open the system map book to on the page indicated by the current system bookmark. During the step, you may perform any of the following tasks in whatever order you want, and as many times as you want. This step ends once you have placed a landing card in the plant planetary scanner, you are unable to perform any other task or you choose to end the step. Uh, first thing is, fly a new system. Choose a new outbound system from those listed and pay the energy cost. Some systems require specific bridge upgrades. If there is a log ne listed next to the system, read that now. If there is no log, open the new system, system app on the page listed and use the current system bookmark to mark this page. You may use log 999 to track which systems and plants you have already visit visited. Okay, then we have visit a destination within the system. Choose a destination listed in the lower half of the page and pay the listed energy cost. Follow the instructions next to that destination, including reading any logbook entry. If the destination depicts a ship icon, take the listed landing card and place it in the planetary scanner so the information about the planet is hidden. Hmm. This will end this next step, or end this step. Note, if the destination lists a landing card that's no longer in the game, you cannot land there. Boom, that planet blew up. Okay. <laughs> Warning, if you end the ship without a landing card in the planetary scanner, immediately read the adrift section at the bottom of this page. <laughs> oh okay, two. That's probably not good. No. Scan planet. This is two. Scan planet. Take the scanner and flip it so that the side with the energy cost is visible. Then follow the instructions on the scanner to scan this landing card. the landing card. You, you may assign one or more available crew members to a scouting mission. Each crew member assigned reduces the energy cost of revealing the next part of the landing card by one. Three, close system maps, close and store the system maps book. And four, go to page six, ship fa facilities. And then the adrift thing was is one, lower morale, see morale on page two for details. Two, place the penalty token in the command pool. Three, go to page 39 of the rule ship book, save point, and continue from there. So it's bad, to, very bad to let's go adrift. We're not adrift. Okay. Let's not go adrift. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So we are here in the eye of the void, which is the black hole Dyson sphere that we did the tutorial in. Mm -hmm. right. And we have only two choices right now. Spend one energy to go to TOI2, which has a log number attached to it, or spend six energy to go to Beta Tarsoni, which requires a bridge upgrade we don't have. Yeah, and we don't have that energy either. Which kind of makes me think we're going to come back here later at some point, <laughs> yeah. way further in the campaign. So I think really we only have one choice right now. Yep. And that's spend one energy yep. to go. 
Well, let's let's listen to log four hundred. Before we do that, I just a question because I can't see it from here. What is the thing at the bottom? That is uh, that is an unidentified signal, but I don't think it's anything. That, I, I think it was the thing that we discovered on the tutorial. Okay. For instance, we we can't we shouldn't really see this page yet, but there are three separate you know things to do or places to see. There. So what is the log number? Uh, four hundred. Captain's log, entry D two one one. Good luck, away team. As we sped toward the closest system marked on the Builder's star map, Vanguard launched an FTL probe back toward Earth to relay all the knowledge we'd gathered so far. However, it may take years before it reaches our homeland, and the mission might be long concluded before we receive an answer. We're truly alone now, barreling into the unknown, the farthest human-made object in the galaxy. We only have ourselves to count on. I've ordered the section leaders to prepare their crews for anything. We nearly lost one full away team. I do not want to repeat the same mistakes. After all, who knows what awaits us at our new destination. Congratulations. You've made your first space voyage. Go to page three of the system's MacBook, maps book, TOI2. Use the current system bookmark of the system maps bookmark, book to mark, the TOI2 page system, system page three. Boy, it's weird. Okay. Captain's log, entry two, one, three. The landing on the eye of the void laid bare two key facts. First, our landers will face unpredictable threats. Second, even a short scouting mission can leave the away team stranded for weeks. During our long flight to TOI-2C, we had plenty of time to put our leading researchers and engineers to work, addressing these weaknesses as section leaders prepare their crew for another ground mission. I hope things will go smoother than last time. Unfortunately, the first long-range scans of planets in the system revealed something troubling. Okay, I guess this is so. As you can see from the system map, there are several destinations available for you now. Since this is your first space travel, instead of following the rules of the star map ship book page further, simply follow these steps. In your system maps book, read the description and rules of TOI2C Pellucid destination number three. This is where you will land next. Take your planetary scanner. The purpose of this, of this component is to make it easy for you to reveal only part of the information contained on landing cards the parts you will pay for using your energy. Find the L1 landing card in the landing cards card tray B. Do not read it yet. The information on the front of the landing card is secret and divided into three segments. The large energy costs on the back of the landing card show you how much it will it costs to reveal that particular segment. Insert the landing card fully into the planetary scanner so that the first energy cost is visible in the cutout window. The cost in the cutout window shows you how much you need to pay before you push one segment of the card up from the scanner. Revealing the first segment of card L1 costs zero. Push the card up one time so that the second cost is visible in the cutout window. Okay. okay. Pay one energy to cover the second cost and push the card until you reveal the third cost. Pay the third cost as well, one energy, and push the card up one final time until it almost leaves the scanner. Flip the scanner and review the results. If scanned correctly, you should see the text in all three segments of the card. Read this text. It contains valuable tips that help you prepare for the landing, what dangers your, landing, your lander will face, what symbols are frequently used in the dice checks on this planet, and which biomes you can expect there. Eight, leave the scanner and the card on the table. You will probably want to review this information as you prepare, as you prepare for the mission in subsequent steps of the ship management. Of ship management. That's, that's it for now. Planet Pellucid is always the second step of the campaign, but after that, you'll be able to fly where, anywhere you wish, finding more planets and interesting ob objects on your own. Close the, and store your system maps book. You will soon continue ship management, but keep the following hints in mind if, you're, if this is your first playthrough. When faced with the choice of fac facility to activate, barracks and production complex are good first moves, as they will 
give you additional crew members and some starting equipment. The actual landing will happen after you progress through more shipbook steps and that will include preparing your lander for the mission and choosing and equipping your away team. While equipping the away team, you'll, always, you'll also build your own deck of section cards. If you're not sure which cards to take, you may use the pre-constructed 10 card basic deck by taking all rank 1 cards from your section with a white bar next to their rank. See Rulebook Chapter 3, Campaign Quick Start for an example. The first designated safe spot of the campaign is after the pellucid landing. If you cannot play that long, you may leave the game as it is now and later restart from page 6 of the shipbook. Now, open your shipbook at page 6, Ship Facilities, and continue ship management. Okay, so that was obviously still tutorialized for us. Yep. On a future uh, play of the game, we might actually you know, visit some of these other mm -hmm. planets or even just skip past and keep going to a new system but it had us spend all our energy on revealing the entire scan of this planet. So let's see what we found out from spending all our energy on the scan. It says, landing orbital debris detected, and it has a little arrow shield symbol, which means something about how to prepare your lander or technology you might want to equip on it to, to defend from that. The next section says, frequent checks Pick symbol and muscle symbol. Right. So those are valuable dice or abilities to have. Biomes, I didn't explain this yet, but at the end of every turn, every single player's turn, we draw an event card. And uh, I'm not sure if the, it, it is on the, um, mm -hmm. it is on here, I think. It's in the back of your Oh, it's on the back of your turn, turn available, available draw yeah. an event, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if we draw from the entire event stack or if the, if the game will tell us to just use part of the event stack. I think it's the entire stack. But certain biomes will appear there and it'll, the event will say, if it's in this biome, this happens. Okay. If you're in the mountains, X happens. Otherwise, just do this, something okay. like that. So the biomes are, they're sort of hard to see. They're little symbols and it's hard to tell what they are. But it's sort of a mountainy symbol and I don't know what the, to call it. It's like a, It looks like an orange slice. It's, <laughs> it's, it's orange slices after the soccer game, and it's a little whirly <laughs> vortex symbol. Mountain. Oh, well, you're right. But those are the biomes that are going to water most often appear on this planet. Air conditioning. I really. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just a generic technology. And then danger, solar flares. Mm. It says, uh, shield and navigation symbol advise. That's this. Okay. So Lincoln has a shield die. Nikki has a navigation symbol, advised. And it says prepare for hazard die, danger die rolls. So that's the entire scan of the planet. We saw the entire card in the planetary scanner. So if we weren't just doing the next thing, the purpose of that scan in future things is to make us decide, hey, let's not go to that planet? No, I believe it is to get us fully prepared for that ah, planet. Okay. If we spent our energy on exploring other things around the system or... We wouldn't be required to spend all of our energy, correct? correct? We could do the first scan, for example, or the, or the first But then we two. wouldn't have all the information about how to equip our lander or okay. which crew members to bring. Okay, but, so as the Addis says, it has told us to, we're going to go to page six. Okay. Ship facilities. Choose a facility. Spend one command token. So obviously we're going to be able to do this twice. We have five ship facilities. Oh. Right? Choose one, spend one command token to choose one of the ship facilities from the diagram below and go to the indicated page of the ship book. After resolving that page, return here. Once you've used all your command tokens or no longer want to use any more, proceed to step two. Note, the add-on facility is only available once you've reached a certain point in the campaign. So actually I lied, we only have four facilities. We have production, which it advised us to use, barracks, which it advised us to use, but we also have the situation room, which lets us solve active situations and the research laboratory to develop technologies. So now we can discuss amongst ourselves, but I don't see any reason not to do the- The two they recommended. The two they recommended, exactly. Works for me. Okay. Uh, do you wanna read one of them, Dave? I don't think you've read a, a ship section yet. No, go for it. All right. Let's do the barracks. Let's get some crew. So we're spending both of these? We're spending one first. For one for the barracks. One for the barracks, which is page 16. Train recruits. Okay, well, transfer or dismiss crew members. Now, we all have one crew member, which is technically in our hand. It hasn't been assigned anywhere sure. yet. 
but you can never assign your last crew member to a job on the ship because you always need one to go down to the planet on the away team. That's, that's a general rule for the game. Players may transfer their available crew members between sections on a one-for-one -one basis. To do this, so if like you have, if you're a crew member I thought would be better in my science group. To do this, exchange the rank sleeve of each traded crew member for a rank sleeve of their new section. But a rank two or three crew member loses one rank when traded. So trading these newbie ones has no penalty, but if you trade a two over to science, he goes down to rank one. Okay. Uh, a trade cannot be completed if the rank sleeve of the appropriate level is available, so you are limited by what's in your box. Resting crew members may also be traded. We actually have four in the resting crew from the tutorial. Um, when doing so, place the crew member in their new rank sleeve to resting crew. That's probably not critical right now, but if anybody wants to trade crew members, go for it. Players may dismiss any available available or resting crew members. Remove from their rank sleeve, return the sleeve to the compartment, and place the crew members in recruits, which is the entire deck. Step two, train recruits. You may assign one or more available crew members of rank three, we don't have that yet, to train recruits. For each assigned crew member, you may promote a rank one to, to rank two or from the same section. You place them both in resting crew. So that's how you can promote people without actually having to go down to the planet and get experience. Resting crew face. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of resting crew faces. <laughs> that same thing. That's good. Um, however, another thing we can't do yet. Now we actually get to do something. <laughs> Draft new crew members. Uh, I was going to say, why, why did why they did recommend this, this to us? Yes. Take five, and this is literally just random cards from the entire deck. Five random cards from recruits. Dave's going to sleeve them for us and place them face up nearby. If morale is high, you take six instead. If it's low or very low, you take four instead. But we are at regular medium morale, and we're going to take five. They don't need to go in need. Not yet, because we... We didn't uh, take Actually, them. I lied. There's no reason to sleeve them, because we're about to assign them to different crew compartments. Whatever. But go ahead, since we've already started. <laughs> we're doing it. We're, doing we're it. sleeve oh. crazy, even though they're only going to be sleeved for ten seconds. That's fine. I like it, actually. No, they can just stay that way back and put them away. No, because four of them are going to be assigned to crew divisions right now and need special sleeves. Ah, I see what you're saying. Yes. Nikki, Nikki was ahead of us on that one. Yeah. All right. Then, in an order chosen by the security section player, oh. right. each, uh, player, each section chooses one of the revealed crew members, placing them into a rank one sleeve of their section and adding them to their hand. So we're all going to get a second crew member. Um, I would say be aware of, this is another thing that I haven't yet explained about crew members because uh, we used it in the tutorial, but not everybody who's watching knows it. Everyone has an ability at the bottom of their card with the charges that they will have to start of it, as well as a, a, a transformation ability or a die conversion ability is what I think it should be called. So for instance, this character with a red conversion ability might be most interesting to Lincoln because he has four red dice. So this character, Megan Clark, can convert a red die basic success symbol, which only appears on this red basic die, but still, you're going to be rolling more red dice than anybody, to a wrench symbol. So you have, uh, actually the wrench symbol appears on blue dice, but you would be able to convert red dice into a cool upgraded blue skill check. Right. So this is um, one of those steps in the dice check was convert results into other results. And everyone has a color that they can convert into an upgraded success, essentially, a, or a, a basic symbol into a better symbol. So there's no hard and fast rule. Anyone can take Megan Clark into their uh, you know, division, but she may be better suited for security. Sure. Or for... Uh, you know, maybe for sign, maybe for something that uses blue dice, because wrench is a blue symbol. Right. Well, the Giovanna Nelly, hers was also is the same to DNA. Uh, oh, it's a DNA. Sorry. Yeah. DNA. Uh, this one's also green to DNA. This one's blue to muscle, which is your red dice. Right. This is green to. I think that's a green. I mean, obviously, right. you would think you would want people that have those dice. You well, would, but it also converts into the symbol that you're gonna more be looking for. Well, like, aren't these the two symbols that are are 
our what's it called? Not research. What did we just do? Our scan. Didn't our like oh our scan? You're correct. Scan? You're correct. It did say there were you're going to be looking for uh, muscle and shields. Well, don't we want others to have that potential as well? So being Meaning able to convert into those could be very useful. I think I think we should be giving like Dave should take yeah, the blue one because then he could get the muscle that we might I need also as have, well. Yeah, and I have three blue dice. Aaron and, and I have Nikki three both green have dice. Green, so you guys so could like choose from be, any of these three. Yeah. It might be beneficial to what we need. Um, obviously, the muscle. I mean, that's what we're giving you. I think. Oh no, that's the one you have. No, yeah, that's the one I think you should take. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, you get to choose. I'm no, just no. deciding who gets to choose. I agree. Right now. now, just for the record, like. If Lincoln rolls this, that's a muscle if he wants it, or a shield. Correct. Right? It converts to because the triangle is the triangle is, wild. is literally anything. Okay. Yes. You don't need to use your die. But it just gives us a better right. chance at getting it. Right. Yeah, I would agree, Lincoln. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the. I'm not even looking at the bottom I, to right. see like Agreed. what power is better and is three charges better. But than But I just two. think if you have a better chance of triggering that, then that's the. So if it's only on one die though, right? We all have that one die ultimately. Correct, because we're looking for this symbol. Right. It just makes this die. It, it yeah, more. It's actually more valuable. Most of the time on these die conversion things, you're only going to do it with one die because we each have one basic die of each color. Right. But if someone loaned you a die of that color, you could do it multiple multiple times. If you, Nikki loaned you a red die and you rolled two red basic symbols, well then you've got a whole bunch of DNA, DNA or whatever you're looking or for. Or wrench if I took that exactly. one right. So yeah, um, so I think that's a great one for Dave to take. I mean, this is great for me or Nikki, either one. Sure. What does yours convert to that? Mine, that alien that, thing? that's super so you just, thing. You don't want this one because it's a right. duplicate. Right. But you and I should either probably take those. either one of those. So I'm sorry to jump ahead. Sure. We can't solve this without the situation. Room? I believe so, unless there's another way okay. to do that. Yeah. But as you, you know, we have a choice between losing a command token and, or a success token. Also, that's a problem for future us. <laughs> okay. It's like, future that's us. like the beginning of next game. Okay. I'm just curious. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe that the only way to do that is by going to the uh, other section that we're not going to go to. Okay. All right. Let's just... Let's, I'll, I'll take this one. All right. I'll take Aisata-sama. Okay. All right. And so all right. Jess. I'm re-sleeving. Wow, you this are, is a pretty great one, though. Spend one charge to... Re to um, uh, yeah. Refresh all blue dice. And I have all green. With one charge, though, right? You That's only start with one charge, yeah. Um, I know that, but I'm looking at your... You have blue dice. All right. All right. So, yes, you will place that in a level one sleeve of your uh, level one section. Sleeve. A second one? Yes. Oh, I see. Because it's a new crew member for your section. Oh, you're right. I have more level one sleeves. Yep. You should have. For some reason, I didn't think I had more. But that makes sense. Ta-da! Uh, and no. then who, who did we not choose? Where was the one that... Did any of that... You know, we all did choices, but what did you end up with, Lincoln? Well, I mean... I just got the one. It's a co-op game. We Okay. Can, uh, did you use that one you didn't choose there, Lincoln? I mean, I don't know. This has the same... It says spend one charge to ignore, ignore all results from uh, all your injury dice. I mean, I already have that with this one character, Christos Nicoli. My uh, Giovanni Nelly... Ooh. Giovanna Nelly, or Gino Vanelli. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but so we can put that one back. But then I'll just take. So the 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 unchosen one goes back to recruits. Then we go back to ship facilities on page six, and I think Dave's going to read production complex. Indeed, I will. Which is on page twelve. Page twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's blank. First off, and I'm going to spend our wow. our Last final command, command yes. token. First off, it looks like this. Ooh. So these four things were. We were told by the tutorial to place them there. Those are four things that we can produce right now. Wow. All right, production complex. Assembly, page 13 is where production projects are placed that are ready for production. Page 14 consists of three rows. Am I turning this over to page 14? Oh, I see. They're upgrades in stage twos and stage threes, and we're not there yet. Um... Page 14 consists, the top row is for upgrades, the bottom two are for queues. At the start of the campaign, only Q1 is available. Oh, so let me just show that then. So we do have production Q1, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. And it's actually, it's literally like a, a queue that, that progresses towards being produced. Okay. Cool. This game is cool. Yeah. 
All right. One, gain new production projects. Take all production project cards out of the awaiting envelope, which I don't think there were any. You are correct. And insert into ready for production slot on page 13. If there are not enough slots, return any back to the envelope. Two, install production upgrades. Take all production upgrade cards out of awaiting. No, we don't have any of those. And put those in the thing. <laughs> With the stuff. Progress current projects. Move all production projects in the queue on page 14. One slot to the right. Nothing there, so whenever it moves from a stage three slot, take the card, flip it over, resolve its text, and remove it from the game. Four, start new projects. Choose any number of production projects on page 13 and place them in their listed starting slots of any available queue on page 14. If the listed starting slot is occupied, then you can place the project in any slot to the left of the starting slot. If there's no valid slot, then return it to ready production. So. We're doing that now, then? We're That's taking sure. any of them? Sure. All right. So we have we have a one and a three and two twos. So it sounds like, uh, you know, we don't know exactly what these are going to give us because we don't look at the back until it's ready. Right. But we have section tools, improved Vanguard systems, heavy mission equipment, and a Pelican lander, which is a landing craft. OK. And we have, it sounds like we could put the starting stage three in number three. Do it. We'll do it, in a, we'll flip the page in a second. Okay. And I guess There's we could two. choose one of the twos. And then we could put either one of the twos or the one in slot one, because it says if the slot's already occupied, you move it to the left. So we could actually put both twos. Both twos. Although, I'll, yeah, because, th well, this lander is, you know, it's going to take a long time to produce. Maybe it's better to produce these things faster. I would assume, though, the ones that take longer to produce would be better in the long run. I right? assume that, Let's too. Let's just do a one, two, three. All right. So do you want to start improved Vanguard systems? I don't know. It grants a bridge upgrade, a lander mod, and a facility upgrade. We need a bridge upgrade. upgrade, according to the... Or heavy mission equipment, which grants a production project and equipment. We did need, it did say on the other page about a bridge, bridge upgrade. upgrade. That one. All right, so improve Vanguard systems doesn't hurt. And we want to put the Pelican Lambda sure, in, in slot one. And, and we only have Q1 available, so that goes in slot one, and that goes in slot two. And it says that this is 20% done, 60% done, 90% oh, yeah. done with the section tools. And then if you keep on reading, there's yes, I will. a couple Here we more go. options, I think. All right. Five, boost production. All right, you may assign available crew members to work in assembly. Choose a production project on page 14 and assign available crew members whose convert icons match the ones printed on the card. Oh. oh. Then move the card one slot to the right. The slot must be empty. Whenever a project moves right from a stage three slot, take the card, flip it, resolve its text, and remove it from the game. You may repeat this entire step any number of times. And then choose your next facility. Return to page six. Okay. So. Yep. Uh, now we know a bit of strategy that we had no idea yeah, about. Exactly. Do we have crew members available to boost Probably not. the production of these things? Uh, okay. Any icon, so yep. anyone can produce these section tools. Okay. This one is computer or wrench, and this one is also wrench. Now, but keep in mind, you can't assign both of your people here because you need one to go down to the planet. Mm -hmm. But the other one is not really doing anything, so we should move as many of these as we can. Okay. Which essentially means you're deciding now who to go down to this mystery planet. Uh, okay, well, I guess in my case, I'm going to put Giovanni Nelly down because she's just DNA. And I think I want to save Clark my is wrench, shield wrench person. Lady. And, what I have, and the one I'm not using is computer, so it can move this yeah. middle card. I wow. don't match any of those symbols. Okay. Um, Dave, do you match any of those? I match the first one. Any well, icon. yes, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I no, but, but here's the thing. I'm Who has computers? Me. Okay. Good. I'm clearly taking the, the muscle, the, the muscle yeah. down to the planet. Nikki, take yeah. your crew member that you don't think you want to go down to the planet. All right. And we're going to boost production of these section tools. Okay. They go immediately to resting crew, which is where crew who've been on missions and assigned to jobs go. And we'll boost uh, the section tools 
over here out of the queue and we'll read what happens because we get to flip it over and read the back. These basic tools should help our away team deal with the unexpected and hopefully as knowledge progresses, we'll be able to create more of them. Move the following cards from lander mods to the awaiting envelope. This most likely means we won't be using them this scenario, <laughs> but they'll be available soon to produce or install or... All that work and I know, we're not right? going to use it right now. So we have... Actually, some of these, we'll, we'll see. The game will tell us. <laughs> we have heavy armor plating. This, by the way, this symbol is what the scanner card told us to plan for oh. when it said there was going to be orbital debris. That's the armor symbol. Okay. Multi-directional thrusters and nav console. Those are all lander mod upgrades that go in the awaiting envelope. Okay. We have six equipment cards to the armory and they are two med kits which uh, let you discard injury dice. And these are each cards for our individual sections. So for oh. instance, only Dave can hold this yellow card and only you can hold this recon jet pack. Okay. Only you can so prevent forest fires. <laughs> and where only, is the armory? Uh, the armory is a section in these card uh, bins, which I'll show you in just uh, a okay. second. So we've got a jet pack for the recon department, an adrenaline shot for security, <laughs> a construction arm for you, and a portable AI for me. And we'll detail what those do exactly when, when and if we need them. But they go, in, they go from unavailable into the armory, which means we can actually take them down to the planet okay. and use them. So Giovanna Nelly is... This is a p she's holding a plant. That's a little arm holding a plant because she's... Oh, it says in the back. Uh, an amber with things you're that not grow. She I don't cultivates think you're supposed to read that hydro stuff What? Come on, man. I, it's like, how could I not want to know? <laughs> That's like... Actually, no, it's fine. It's a bio. So, some characters actually have, like, secrets on the back that oh. you can't read until you've, like, oh, really? unlocked their story. Yeah. Well, these are uh, it would say that on the card, though, right? Uh, I don't... I think you just... This is a game where you don't read the back of things until you're told. All okay. right, all right. Don't Sorry. Do that, that one's probably fun because it doesn't have, mine doesn't have anything on it either. But I think that some of them have like, you've now unlocked the psychological secret behind this person and they can now do X. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Sorry, okay. That, that's why. I was afraid you were going to say something that was like spoiling. No, no, but that's, she's, she grows plants, she's hydroponics. She's a botanist kind of person. Right. Yeah. yeah. She grow, cultivates hydroponic gardens aboard. The Vanguard is happy to share her harvest with anyone who asks. Any who ask him. To. Everyone knows that Kamal is a coffee addict, and it's wise to avoid him when he hasn't <laughs> had his morning brew. However, it's also known for some strange reason away teams with Kamal on board have suffered no casualties thus far. Wow. It does not, however, in his personal file explain this ferret or whatever this this <laughs> otter, this otter or this ferret, Why or this otter? weasel, marmot. Or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> space marmot. All right, so, we uh, haven't finished the this final, the, and we also have. Uh, Two production projects, which we may be able to produce later, uh, which also go to the awaiting envelope, and they are advanced section tools and biome suits. Sweet. All right, All right so this card is done. It goes out of the game uh, until, actually forever until we're told. <laughs> okay. Let's pause for a second since Dave asked where those cards go. Everyone who's set up this game or played the tutorial knows, but the two card bins for this game are this giant black bin which is all the cards you'll ever need for the ship book section of the game. Okay. And they will only be used for the ship book section of the game. And this giant white bin, which is all the cards you'll ever need for the Planetopedia section of the game. And they will always be used for that section of the game. So it's a really cool That's neat. A and B sort of organizational uh, thing. It does take quite a while to set up and organize <laughs> all the cards into their sections, but it's a really clever system the way they've divided that. And there is like essentially a a trash bin or a you've used these cards and probably won't need them again section in there. <laughs> All right. So, speaking of Sophia Ben, my weirdo scientist who says is strange and aloof and keeps to herself. Yep. I'm going to use her computer uh, expertise to move this production card down to slot one. No, slot three. That's what I mean, from two to three. Yep. It's 90%. It's 90% done. We're so close. Um, put her in resting crew face. <laughs> and then, does anybody have either wrench or computer? I do. Here comes Megan Clark. All right. She says, <laughs> she personal file, Arthur? Megan descends from a long line of engineers and builders, some of whom worked on designs that led to the construction of Vanguard. My blood's running through this, sh through this ship, she often tells others, and her devotion to maintaining the Vanguard rivals that of her close kin. She does wonder, though, what corners have been cut in getting the Vanguard space-worthy. Oh, boy. 
Wait, what's her so expertise? So she's going to... Construction. She's doing this one? No, this one. No, this yeah. one so we can get it going. Oh. We're going we're gonna to okay. get this Let's one get too. Let's get it out. Go ahead. I can't reach. Okay. Nikki can't reach. I can. Ta-da! Flip it over. Let's see what it says. Boom. All right, Aaron. I, we're going to need more cards, I'm assuming. I would think so. Improve Vanguard systems, replicating the technology the builders used in their Dyson sphere. That's the vacuum. Vacuum. Yeah. yeah. Allowed us to vastly improve the output of Vanguard solar panels. We also upgraded our production capabilities and made small improvements throughout the ship. Move the following cards to the awaiting envelope. B9. Improve solar panels from bridge upgrades. From bridge upgrades. B9. Also from bridge upgrades, while you're there, you need a tech level two card. Oh. B9 solar panels. And tech level two and card. tech level two. Okay, from Lander Mods, yep. A8, the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> what? That's like from the 70s. This Come is just on. a test of the emergency broadcast Isn't there a small system? one, right? Yes. There you go. And then from facility upgrades, F4, the dual production lines. These all go in the awaiting envelope. Okay. And this goes in the dead pile. You can see how this awaiting envelope grows and gets more interesting. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Wait, Stop. wait, what are they before you put them in? Oh, what? what you want to know everything? Kind of. Uh, an entire... It, this is a card which, once it's produced, you may now use production Q2. An okay. entire second ma manufacturing complex essentially doubles our production capability. The emergency broadcast system, you may discard one charge each and move this mod to the awaiting envelope, gain two supplies. So it's a way to recover supplies and thus so dice refresh. Okay. Tech level two just gives us more command. As far as I know, that's its only effect. I don't know how we would get it going. And improved solar panels is plus one energy whenever you generate energy. Okay. And bridge upgrades, again, I'm not sure how they're installed yet. It's I like just it. something we haven't done. Just stuff that's yep. in there. Stuff that's there. All right. Uh, you're the only person with an unassigned crew member. Do they happen to have a wrench symbol? No, it's the little... Arrowy uh, that's compass. navigation. Navigation, yeah. yeah. All right, so your crew member is unassigned. However, we're out of command tokens, and we're back to page six, I believe, ship facilities. Okay. So now we are done. Ship management cleanup. Discard any energy and command tokens remaining in the pools. Oh, Place so they don't all carry over. No. Yeah, we, yeah, you spend them all if you can. Uh, maybe there's a tech that lets you keep them later, but probably not. Batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Place Solar all cannon. situation cards above the ship book in the awaiting envelope because we're going to pull that out and deal with that ah, later. We don't have to deal with that. Well, it's going to probably hit us at the beginning of the next s scenario. And then go to page 18, hangar. It's time to... 18 here? Send your way to yep. Figure out how to land on a planet. Boop. Boop. There. Install new landers. Take all lander cards out of the awaiting envelope. None yet. And insert them here. This is our only lander it was told we were told to put it there in the tutorial. The Space Ranger. It's the basic lander. And we actually have... And we actually have a little sideboard for it. Because it will need to hold some tokens wow. and displays hmm. when we are down on the planet. Okay, well, let's make a little bit of room for All that. Right. Right. When are we going to get pick which deck we hit here? Is that... Oh, that's when we go on the planet. Yep. We're not there yet. The, yeah. the, I believe they'll all be there, but the planet will tell you that there's mm -hmm. one that's more that's better than the there other. There you go. All right. There you get you go. that little there you go. band right there. Okay. Um, we, don't, we haven't even been told to do that yet. I skipped ahead. Yep. All right. Uh, if all lander cards are occupied, you have to get, get rid of one. That's far in the future. Install lander mods. Now, this is a little funny, but take all lander mod cards out of the awaiting envelope. <laughs> well, we don't have any. They just no, want we us just to put do. Oh, you're right there. We did. <laughs> It's the nav console. Oh, you're right. Heavy armor plating. Things that we were going to need. Yeah. And multi-directional thrusters. Okay. What do we do with those? Boy, they we really did cut some corners on the ship, but we didn't launch with multi-directional thrusters. Insert them into thrusters. the mods on slot 21. Lander page mod. 21. Lander mod. Lander mod. Hmm. It's a little funny that they had you put them in there and then pull them right back out. Lander they want to show you I these know. I, steps. I mean, it yeah. is procedural. It, it, it yeah. might be more important. It's procedural. Later. It's teaching it, it us really how is. to do it. And when this is full, then you have to kick some out. Uh, 
If there's, a, wow. if there's no free card there, you may empty slots first by removing any. Repair landers, if any of them are broke, are re the, if it's face down, the repair cost is visible, you may pay the repair cost. Choose a lander. <laughs> After reviewing the information on the available <laughs> landers, decide which lander to use, and take the corresponding lander board, placing it nearby. All right. All right. Space Cost Ranger. All right. Uh, good choice, Dave. Thank right. you. I'll go with that. <laughs> um, choose lander mod cards from page two, uh, 21, sorry, 21, and place them in the empty slots of the lander board. Max of one mod per lot. Now we have one structural, structural and yeah, one utility, it. but these mm. are all structural. Oh, so we get to just pick one so of them. So we get to just pick one. Well, I thought this was the one we were going to need. That was certainly the one that the scan told us the to... The heavy plating? Yeah. Yep. Scan told us to expect. Trust the scan. I'm going to trust the scan. Uh-huh. I think so. I think so. Uh, and so that goes here. Structural. And that then we go to page 23, Mission so Launch that's Procedure. This, that's this, right? Yes. Ooh. Were you told to put that there? Did a, did a procedural <laughs> step to <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Her, 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 her crew member's clairvoyant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. If the planet, okay, if this is, if the planetopedia is not open, go to step three. It's open. Actually, it's, I don't know, it, it's not, because this is just what I was teaching. Oh, okay. Oh, because if we had played uh, this previous planet, the first two steps are how to clean it up and put the cards away. Okay. Mm. So, step three, prepare the away team. The information on the revealed part of the landing card in the planetary scanner will provide you with information about what awaits you on the planet. Use this information to assemble the right away team. We're quite aware of that because we've been planning on it. Do Each I? Each player I'm sorry to interrupt, sorry to interrupt. selects one of their available crew members okay. to take part in the away team. Uh, if playing solo, you must select each two. Return any remaining crew members in players' hands to the resting oh, crew area. Oh, I didn't get to use. No. But, yeah, but I have Francesca Potter, you guys. Uh, Listen to I'm this. So She's part of an experimental crew. She has chronic leukemia. Whoa. Oh. And couldn't normally enroll in the Vanguard project. But she agreed to an experimental treatment, which uses radiation emitted by Vanguard's alien engines. For now, she feels great. And everything indicates wow. that her sickness is withdrawing. Ooh. There you go. All right. So we all choose one, basically. Well, anyone who has a choice chooses one. <laughs> so now, now this is finally when you actually put your crew member oh, into right, the little finally. slot on your board. Yes. Oh, right. yay. Woohoo. Uh, any other ones go to rest and crew. We put our dice in our board. We were ahead on that as well. We weren't told to put the dice in yet. Uh, each player creates a section deck of at least 10 cards from their section cards. We did that. We have all done that ahead of time. We chose the basic white stripe cards without choosing any advanced ones. You can only choose cards that match the rank or lower of your current crew member, so we're not allowed to use rank two and three cards right now. All right. In later games, you might have a much broader choice of cards. Uh, but it's always going to be a 10 card deck, unless something tells you otherwise. You shuffle that deck and put it to the left of your board where the section deck is says. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Dave. I didn't shuffle. I'll shuffle. Then we I place did. the appropriate number of charges for your special power Three. on your board. One. Two. Two. Excellent. One. How many, Nikki? Uh, two. There you go. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Two for me. Then we load the lander. La lo lunar loader. We lander take loader. all the equipment cards from the armory, which we just put those cards oh, into. Anything we have in the armory. And cool. place them face up on the table. Thanks, Dave. Each crew member may choose one small equipment card and place it next to their crew, bar, crew board. Then choose a number of personal, that's a small little V circle badge uh, equipment. No thing and mission equipment cards up to the limit depicted on the load of the lander card the loads of, so we can choose up to four of this symbol and two of this if we have any of those okay that so that does show actually these all have that symbol small equipment is like a little container symbol that does not appear on any of these so these are all personal equipment cards. It kind of look, looks like a helmet, that symbol. You can take any number of mission equipment upgrades. That looks like this with an arrow above it. It doesn't have, we don't have that. Uh, if players are unable to agree on the choice of equipment, engineering chooses. Place the chosen equipment cards in. Whatever you guys want. Yeah. I'm open. But, and of course, and as I said, the ones that have an icon can only be chosen by that uh, players, that section player. The number of supplies on the lander 
is marked and can be modified by lander cards. So we can have different things that will increase or lower our supplies. And then strap in. Mm -hmm. Check the upper part of the landing card. That's the scanner card that we looked at earlier, which oh, yes. has a log number for us to read. So after we choose this equipment, we will attempt to land on the, on the planet. Okay. So we take all these, these are the six equipment pieces that we just researched. We have room for four mission equipment on the lander, and that is the type that all of these are. Okay. If we had small equipment, which is a different icon, we can each carry one of those in addition, but we don't have any of those yet. So essentially, you can carry as much equipment as you want, but only the med kit can be traded to other people outside your crew section and used by other crews. Otherwise, you know, the jetpack is only for Nikki's people and the construction is only for engineer department. Can you have more can you have more than one piece of equipment? You can carry as many so as you Nikki want. So Nikki could have Nikki the jetpack and, and both and med, both kits. med kits. Yes. But, but she can trade only the non proprietary ones, correct. for lack of a better term. Correct. I assume we have to be in the same space for that uh, to happen. And it's a free action and yes. Okay. So, there's room for four on the lander, so we just need to decide what we're bringing. Okay. They all are situationally good. What's mine? The construction arm, which converts blue dice into wrench symbol. That doesn't seem like we'll need it. Since you already have a wrench die. Well, and because the thing and told us we wanted the other stuff. It doesn't mean there's not going to be wrench symbols, but you're right. It's but, not I'm, but we only have four of these, right? Right. Okay. I agree, since it's so not mission critical. I'm putting it back in the armory. I would agree. I would think a med kit for that, for sure. All right, so do we want two med kits or do we want our other three section what things the other and ones? give Dave a med kit? Uh, a jet pack, which lets Nikki take a move action without doing the Payment. paying the die or the hazard die or whatever the cost of it is. Seems good. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but she has to use a red die to do so. So it's actually only really good if the if the cost is two dice or a really dangerous hazard or something like when that. When you say red, does she roll it or just spend she it? She just spends it. It's just a exhaust a red die symbol. It the saves kit, her from getting an accident though, right? Or there will be some things that cost X more than one die. Mm. So it's not as good as just like a free move. Okay. The med kits cost green die to use. So you have to have a green die available move over here and then you would heal a person's injury die. Okay. Um, Lincoln's has the roll the hazard die on level C or hazard C. Okay. But it refreshes all his dice, which is great, yeah. but it's only one use. It immediately goes back to the armor. Sure. Well, here's C. C is for the one uh, you have to spend a die. You have to rest a die. That's right? 50%. One is 50% of the die. Okay. For the three, you gain an exhausted injury. Okay. And for the four, you gain an exhausted injury. It's the so. same. But there's nothing for the two. That just means nothing happens. That means it's a blank. All right. And mine is, when I make a die check in a flag sector, that's an exploration symbol, I can roll a die from my spent pool. That's Ooh. pretty great, but we have no idea how many spaces it'll be applicable in. Oh, right. Okay. So, I, I kind of want to take this one, so I say let's just do it. Okay. Uh, it's fine we're taking me. at least one med kit. Yep. Lincoln should definitely take. I think his seems his pretty good. Well, do you want it? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Because what do you want? Refreshing to? dice is really good. I'm figuring it out. Yeah, me too. Do you want your jetpack or do you want a second med kit? I think one med kit is enough. I so I kind of agree. So I like it. Famous right. last words. All right, exactly. You can, can well, you we, not we take your jetpack? We need some people to go into I the uh, memorial. Eight. You know, I mean, yeah. from a pure. Gamer standpoint, let's explore injuries. Let's see how they work. Let's, <laughs> exactly. let's, get, let's get all the game mechanics going. Let's all right, what's injured. next? Let's get to this planet. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's that's how many things we can hold. Strap in. Check the upper part of the landing card, and it's going to tell us to read log 315, or listen to log 315, and that's going to tell us how to land on the planet, or at least get started. Vanguard, this is the away team. We are en route to the designated landing zone. All systems nominal. Uplink stable. We should be past the outer layer of debris right about... Oh, wow. My god. Did you see stars. this, Vanguard? Crystal clear, away team. It seems like the long-range scans were right. The planet is gone. If you see no clear approach vector, you have permission to abort. No, some pieces of the crust look large enough for a touchdown. And we detect anomalous structures among the debris. We could take a look. 
Anything you bring back will be invaluable, away team. Just don't bite off more than you can chew. There are plenty of other worlds on our list. Copy that, Vanguard. Plotting the landing path. Important. This planet introduces the lander, landings, and limited supplies to the campaign. On the lander board, place a marker in the starting space indicated with an S on the landing track. The landing track represents your progress towards the planet's surface. Log 315, we are en route to the designated landing zone. Roll the danger die. If more than one option is available, choose one. You cannot choose an option you cannot fully resolve. In rare cases where a crew member gains a fourth injury, ignore that injury card and in injury die. Okay, so here's the pellucid landing orbital debris. Select roll result. result. So this is what we have. Oh, wow, neat. And so we're just going to roll this die and we're yep. going to yep. see what we get. You roll on blank. Yeah. Both? No, just, just one. one. Hey, there's the a. one. Debris in, uh, impact. <laughs> so we click it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Choose one. Expose the cargo bay. Lose four supplies reduced by armor. But because we chose our heavy armor plating, we have four armor. Okay. That one. Yeah, <laughs> so essentially a one does nothing. What was our other choice? Or brace for impact. Each crew member gains a wounded injury. No. Yeah, Yeah. I feel like uh, expose the cargo bay is completely safe. Lose four supplies reduced by armor. Nothing happens. Sucker. Progress the landing track. Move the marker one space to the right. Has the marker reached the landing successful space? No. Roll the danger die. Go ahead, Nikki. Okay. She's going in her hand. One. Boop. All right. Since we chose the armor, it seems like that is not going to have any effect. Because it's still... Unless it's different this time. Expose the cargo bay or brace for impact. Expose the cargo bay. Lose four supplies minus armor. Progress the landing. One marker to the right. No. Okay. And say no. And say no. And roll the danger die. Dave, your turn. I can't reach it. So okay, here we go. Blank. Hey, it's a it's a, it's three. a three, which is oh, bad. Oh no, probably. No, no that's four. A four. Other. 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 Oh, other. It's other. Yeah. Yeah, that's three spikes. Oh. There's oh, also oh, a three oh, and a four. I did not. There's a two. Okay. They're very, they're hard to see. Oh, which other? Ones. Oh, other. I think on, other's other. fine. Progress the landing track. Move the marker one space yeah. away. Yeah. Other is automatic success. <laughs> Uh, has the it's marker reached the landing successful space of the landing track? Yes. Yay. You arrive safely at your destination. Important. This planet introduces leads and discoveries to the campaign. If you trigger an effect that asks you to draw a lead before the leads mechanic is introduced, read the leads and discoveries rules in chapter three. I already explained that part. That's drawing the leads from the bag and trying to get a total of three to draw one of those cards and bring your treasure home. This also introduces threatening injuries. Yeah. Keep in mind that gaining a fourth injury will trigger a forced evac. <laughs> you can see at the bottom of your character there is space for three injury cards. Yes. They're all bad. But a fourth one yeah, high probability of immediately that. ends the mission. Like if it's just over, we all teleport back to the ship and fail everything immediately. All right. Well, um, all right. I'm going to say that's like the worst possible way to end a, a scenario. Whenever in doubt about the injury rules, read the injuries and ending planetary exploration rules in chapter three of the rulebook. Most of the injury stuff is basically explained on the injury card you get or the results of the injury die. Okay. Uh, now open the Planetopedia at pages four and five, Pellucid. Then open the ship book to page 24 Ooh. and perform the begin planetary, planetary exploration procedure. One more procedure, you guys. I'm telling you, this this game is some sort of spreadsheet procedure. <laughs> yeah. Nerds like ultimate dream. All right, so I believe we've finished with that. What, what page was it? Twenty four. Yes. Planetary exploration. Prepare the planet board. Yeah. Okay. If there is a planet record sheet for your current planet in recorded planets card tray B, there's not because we haven't been here before. Start at step one A. Otherwise, start at step one B. Populate the right side of the planet board with the indicated unique discoveries. Place them face down in the order they are listed. Unique discoveries two and three. Populate the right side of the planet board with listed mission cards and global condition cards. Mission M21. 
I was just wondering what condition go our mission was in. Uh -huh. Mission among the ashes. Mm -hmm. This broken world offers few surviving landmarks, but a large cluster of potentially interesting structures stands out not far from the landing zone. Mm. We must comb this area inch by inch. Objective, fully explore the sector with a sort of V vanguard symbol. That, that. that. yep. Okay. Completion, when you fulfill the objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. And global condition cards, okay, this says, we have a global condition, but we're going to be asked at some point to replace it with GO2. So we'll get that out and ready, although we should not look at it yet. Let's okay, I will leave that it. and put it face down. You got it. Place the lead bag next to the leads and the board. Shuffle all five discovery decks. We've already done that and place them above the planet board. Shuffle the event deck. Yeah. And we just put it somewhere over here. And we place it to the left of the planet board, yeah. Right. There's not a specific space for Let's it. Just in fact, you could even right. just put it right there if you want. Okay. I don't think we'll knock it over. Mm, uh, the action famous last words. crazy. Yeah. Um, and then the injuries deck. Dave is just going to put a small selection from the injuries deck. because So you don't there are to. six different types of injuries. Freezing, panicked, wounded, exhausted, critically, and burned. And I'm just going to put one of each out here for now. We'll just take one we need it, and if we have to refresh the deck, we will. We're, I'm confident we'll never need any of them. Sure. We probably won't <laughs> need, we probably aren't going to take all six of these. We'll probably only take one or two types. You don't I know. Assume. That's, that's, what, that's, well, I I'm think guessing for later for planets, some of these the are, are going to be hard I for I think them. so, too. The exhausted is definitely a possibility, because you can exhaust yourself by refreshing your dice. Right. And but wounded is probably. Very easy. few of those will matter on this planet, yeah. All right. Now. Nikki, you're going to be happy. Unless your lander has already been placed on the planet board, place it in any oh. sector that depicts the lander icon. Okay. We have one choice. On some planets, you will actually have... Do you want me to just uh, take it out of the standee, so... Oh, yeah, sure, good point. Sure. Uh, on some planets, you'll have multiple places to land. This is now referred to as the lander sector. All right. Um, if the crew member minis have not yet been placed, place them in the lander sector. But don't cover up the skill check that we need to know the information yeah. for. There you go. Just covered up everything. Yep. Take the rank up cards. I've already done this. <laughs> and <laughs> all right. How? All right. Let me have the event cards. No. All right. You got them. Yes. Okay. I'm good. That'll never happen again. That'll never happen again. That's for uh -huh. sure. <laughs> Take the rank up cards. I shuffle these, and you draw two at random. In the tutorial, this was a very generic card. Now the rank up cards. This is how many success tokens you need for level one people to be promoted to level two or level two people to be promoted to level three at the end of the planet. Okay. But they have different text on the back. Okay. Mm. So we either complete or don't complete this, which gives you the actual opportunity to promote at the end of the mission. Okay. So we choose from one of these two. Uh, the science player, which is me, has the final choice if we can't agree. So we have, any time during the planetary exploration, study a pressure anomaly only in a sector with an asteroid chocolate chip cookie looking biome. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, nope, that's the orange slice. <laughs> a volcano biome, which is not this one. Forest. Or orange slice, which again, I don't know what it means, but this it probably means like alien technology or unknown terrain. Okay. So only in those types, if you do a shield plus a DNA plus a computer, you flip this card over, then you've completed the rank up and you can come uh, upgrade your people at the end of the round. Okay. The other choice is we don't check until the end of planetary exploration, which is flip this card if you have three alien tech discoveries on your lander board, hmm. which means we'd have to focus very hard on alien tech discovery uh, mm -hmm. and get a bunch of those leads and get all that. Um, all right, we decided uh, off camera discussion that we're gonna go for the computer plus DNA plus shield one. And so okay. that's our rank up card for the this game. Does that mean you have to roll three dice to get those? Um, is that a dice check? That is a dice check. Okay. But un I, unless there's some other way of gaining those symbols, yes, you would have to roll at least three dice. 
Players now divide personal equipment and mission equipment between themselves. No crew member can carry equipment from other sections, which means Nikki must have that. Yes. And Lincoln must have that. And I must have portable AI. Should we keep this med kit or let Dave have it? You can have it. I don't, you I don't, don't need. To, I don't need equipment. You should just have it. You might okay. well. have it. We're being, you don't want to go back to the ship to get it. We're being equitable. No, no, but you can have it. Space you communists will give so. everyone one piece of equipment. You should have it. It's a green die activated thing, and oh. you've got the most green dice. He's actually right. So does me and Nikki. Yeah. Yeah, we both do. You want it? Sure. All right. We all take our turn tokens. We all draw a number of section cards equal to our hand limit, so we all draw two. And then we choose a start player and perform a planetary exploration. That was... That was all ship book uh, procedure. All right. H how many cards? Two. <laughs> Draw two. One, two. Now remember that there are there's a top ability which can be used when it says it can be used, mm -hmm. and the bottom ability which can be used for essentially the extra dice in your dice check. Okay. Like if you don't need those for a success, you might draw more cards or roll extra dice or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's look at the board, since this is very important for what we need to do. Okay. The area that we're in is currently blocked. We cannot leave this space until we do something. So, we're on an orbiting shard. <laughs> Though buried in dust and half melted, these artificial structures are clearly visible. Scout the site. If we roll muscle, pickaxe, or navigation, we get to advance on the green track. Eventually, that's going to get us to log 210, which is probably going to let us leave this space. Okay. If we roll accident symbols, it advances on the red track. The, red, the end of the red track is exhaust two dice. So, that we, this is something where accident dice symbols are somewhat dangerous, and maybe we don't want to roll our vanguard dice just yet. But otherwise, you're just spending dice and looking for these symbols. If your character can convert into those symbols, that would be pretty great, maybe. It's any of those symbols, right? Yes, but any one of them gives you one movement on the track, and we need a total of five okay. to get there. But if you, rolled, if you rolled three dice and two of them came up, you'd move twice. Correct. Right? Okay. Yeah. I have pickaxe and muscle, right? Because this is also muscle. Correct. And I have a pickaxe. I mean... And I don't know what the rules are for saying, but I can also convert any snowflake to a pickaxe. Dave, why don't you go first? Okay. All right, I need the start player tokens, please. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. There's Thank a you. start, and here's your number My of two actions. Turns. Oh, hey, you never read this. Read this. All oh, right. Over here. Um, oh, cool. It also tells you what to read for liftoff and evacuation, if you have to do that. <laughs> or, or program into the app. All right, uh, Pellucid is a... An Earth-sized planet on the border of the habitable zone with an elongated orbit. It gave life to an early space-age civilization. Unfortunately, it was all but wiped away when a strange crystalline structure shattered the planet to pieces. Hmm. And we can see, actually, like floating bits of planet all over here. And we've landed on an orbiting shard. Oh, that's crystals there. That's probably yeah. crystal. Yeah, and this, the, what I was calling the orange slice symbol is actually the void symbol. So we're like out in space orbiting the more solid parts of the planet. All right, okay. well, well then, it? what is this that I'm calling pickaxe? Uh, if you want to call that by the correct yeah. terminology, that is gathering. Gathering, okay. All right, Which so I definitely know and didn't look up off screen okay, while we okay. paused. <laughs> um, I, might have, I, I have to assume for my first action I want to roll dice. I, 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 have to, I, I can't think of a reason to do anything else, yeah. Okay, so you're saying I definitely don't want to use that. So I want this one, I want this blue, and I want this blue, and I want this red. Mm -hmm. And if I use, just to clarify, because you said it, but I want to just clarify. If I have the convert ability, yes. that works for all dice of that, or only one die of that? You mean on a, on a, con on a card, or on your character? On a card. So, for example, this ability to convert into a gather. Oh, yeah. If you have a convert ability, it does work on all dice of that. Correct. Okay. I was, but if it's on the bottom of a card and it says you can convert, you know, two of these symbols into this. All right. I'm going to roll these three. Did any, if, does anyone want to lend me a die? Sure. I don't necessarily need a blue one if you don't want to lend me a blue one, but I'll take the blue one. But blue is what you can convert to physical. Just to physical, but my card will convert any I see. color symbol I to see. gather. 
So if you want to keep a blue, but you might not want to give up your color in that dye, right? Like you might not want to give up your red dye because... Or I, or I might want to give it up because I only have one and I'm not going to be doing a lot That's of things. That's why I'm doing the blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. I can oh, do no. it too. Oh, we're all going to do it. Okay. Well, why not? Big. So we're not going to... We don't have any injury and danger dice, so we're all going to roll simultaneously. Okay. Ugh. I got to start. I got... I, we all wow. got basic. Wow. So... Yeah. <laughs> great, 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 great. Pretty great. Yeah. Okay. So modifying, I'm not modifying anything. Well, no, I am using this, right? I think you are. All right. So I am turning all of the blues into physical, physical. and I'm using, I'm not modifying the red because the gathering it's is a already gather, what which we is need. all we need. And that's all I need. So I don't need to actually spend my card. I don't think so. Um, okay. Dice combinations. So technically... I would have that. I would have yours if I could do something with it. And I can't. right, we have a spare. And I can't. Okay. All right. Mark outcomes, and then yeah. So mark the outcome of of the roll. Okay. We, so we, we, have, we do everything, have right? yeah. So we would one, two, three, four, five. We don't do it yet. We just marked it. Yep. Spend dice. Spend dice. So all these go to our spent pools. Dave's three. Okay. And now. Resolve outcomes. Step All right. Two. Check if there's a marker in outcome space. Hey, Lincoln, you got that app? You want to go to log 210? Yep. Vanguard, this is away team one. My sensors are picking up some electromagnetic activity among the rubble. I'll try to reach it. Be careful, away team. This planet looks too much like a battleground. You should expect danger and... Okay, got it. It's just a small <laughs> shard of some metallic magnetized casing. Nothing too exciting. We'll tune your sensors to the magnetic signature of this shard. This should help you find other similar parts. Roger that, Vanguard. It says gain one alien tech lead. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Dave, out it's your bag. turn. Pull a, pull a lead out of the bag. Oh. And then put it on the alien tech discovery deck. Oh, because it's alien tech. I yes. See. Come on. Zero. zero. Plus on, one zero. charge. So you get an extra charge for your special ability. What yep. is your special ability, Dave? If at least two results in the roll pool are Vanguard, spend a charge to move all dice with the exclamation point to the spent pool. Oh, okay. So, so they don't count rather than dice. doing the bad effect that they right uh, that they might have done. Leads are small clues such as pieces of alien technology, biological samples, or even paw prints of an alien creature. <laughs> If you gather enough of them, you'll be rewarded with important discoveries from discovery decks that will take you to, take you, take with you to ISS Vanguard. Uh, gain one alien tech lead means you should draw one lead at random from the lead bag and place it on the alien tech discovery. When the lead discovery on a tech deck reaches a total value of three, discard all the leads from the de this deck, draw the top discovery card, and place it in the appropriate slot under your lander. Each lander has a different maximum number of discoveries it can hold. When you finish your planetary exploration, you must discard your discoveries down to the number visible on the lander board. Some leads also have special one-time effects. Lear to learn more, read the leads chapter in rule book in, in the rule book chapter three. I said, I said read the chapter, but I was reading ahead there. Okay, <laughs> please note the global condition of this planet allows you to gather more leads when checking your roll dice for dice combinations. Also keep in mind any dice combinations on the uh, global condition card. They, are, they affect every roll on the planet. Oh yeah, we forgot to look at this card. Okay, what is it? Bec it's, it's a, whenever you roll a gathering symbol, which, yep. you're which you're not using for other purposes, which we already did, right. you can gain one mineral lead. Mm. Ah, okay. The other thing that to note is this travel symbol. I was gonna ask, we weren't at that point yet, I was gonna ask when we got there. But when we get there, it's going to mean Discard one die to your spent pool or roll the hazard die to move to a connected sector. And again, that's for now because this could be covered with another card later. Okay. Okay, anything else, Lincoln? That's that, so hit proceed. Please. Replace the card in your sector with card P110. That's what I was looking for because we needed to be able to get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. P110, melted cityscape. Ooh. A civilization once bloomed here, but ended abruptly. By Come in, away team. Oh, hold on. We have something you really should see. 
Okay. It was it was going right to. I, it. I mean, I like that it proceeds yeah, yeah. right to the next thing you need to hear, but ended abruptly by a fiery inferno. Many of the remains are covered in thick layers of ash and volcanic rock. So this is a new space with new dice checks. It also has this flag symbol, which mm. means we've fully explored this sector, oh, and it okay. means I can use my little special ability there. So now. Anyone who stays here can dig and find artifacts. Ooh. If they get a gather plus a xenology, they get two alien tech leads. And if they just roll two red and a blue die, they get a, a one alien tech lead. Um, but they also have to roll the hazard die. It looks like no matter what, this red one is just always there. Okay. Come in away team. We have something you really should see. Yes, Vanguard, we read you. Our AI analyzed the data you gathered while scouting these ruins. It does seem there was an advanced civilization living on the planet. However, your current area was subject to extreme temperatures, irrecoverably damaging most artifacts. Tell us something we don't know, Vanguard. <laughs> the rocks here melted like butter. The point is, not far from your position, there's a cluster of underground structures. Maybe shelters of some kind. If you want to find anything more than charred pieces of tech, the AI suggests you go there, but... There's always a but, isn't there? Well, our military advisors disagree with the AI. They warned us the crystal had something to do with the death of this planet, and they say we should investigate one of the crystalline arms before we attempt anything else. Understood. Leave it with us, Vanguard. Okay, proceed. Find mission card M23. Place it face up on any empty outline on the right side of the planet board and read it. Oh, I'll tell you more. There's more I can read here. Right, you, have, you, you now have two missions. One marked as optional. You needn't complete any optional meet missions for your landing to succeed, but they can often be profitable or allow you to see events and locations you wouldn't see otherwise. Optional mission. Learning more. Vanguard's AI thinks the ruined shelters are our best choice of learning more about the denizens of this world. Military advisors think we must focus on the crystal instead. Objective, learn more about the crystal in Sector 2 and or learn more about the people of the world in Sector 3. When you have unique discovery 2 and 3, discard this mission and gain a success token. So I'm just going to kind of sneak it right here because we've covered this sure. little mission space. But that'll be fine. All right, Dave. So we get two and three by going to both two and three? Uh, yes, yeah, so we haven't really looked at these spaces in detail yet, but you're correct. This is where we split? I think there seems reasonable to split. Um, and also now you can travel for your second action instead That's of what rolling, I think I'm gonna do. taking your dice back if you yep. want. So, but let's look at what we need on each space. Okay. This one needs uh, technology dice to get two alien tech leads but it just needs a red and a blue to get a success token and discovery three. Okay. This just needs a red and a green for discovery two and a success token, but if it has gathering plus science plus technology, it refreshes all the dice used in the dice check, in that check. So they're both pretty easy to get the discoveries, but they have sort of extra bonus successes. Um, so decide which way you'd like to go, Dave. With your one action left. I have one action left. I was about to flip that over. Okay, sorry. And and it's going to cost me any die of my choice to travel, correct? This one is automatically hazard A. Right. Uh, because of this is that card. But this this one is that, but this one is a different cost printed. Right. Yes. See here see here's where like Nikki should use her jetpack, because otherwise it's two dice. Oh, she didn't bring the jetpack, did she? No, yeah, she didn't. Yeah, I did. So she would pay one die instead of two to travel here or here. All right, I'm going to move here. I am not going to roll a hazard. The hazard die. I'm just going to on a. I'm just going to spend my uh, my green one, and then hey, I, can you read that for me? Uh, let's see. Failed shelters. This desperate attempt to survive the apocalypse was doomed from the start. No bunker or shelter could have survived this. All right, my turn is done. Draw an event card. <gasps> Most of the time I'm just gonna hand out the event cards, but let me show the camera and the audience how these work in case anybody hasn't seen them. So it's gonna show you biomes at the top. What biomes are you in, Dave? I am in biomes void and ruins. Okay, 
So this shows at the top of the card, frozen desert, frozen desert, caves and ruins. So this one will apply to you, but it will say, if no icons match, discard this card and progress all time tracks by two, mm. or by one, sorry. This, that'll be a pretty common effect, and what it will do is place a token here, which moves us towards replacing this card. With that a harder card, correct? Probably. Okay. This is, I don't think this game's gonna like give you presents <laughs> for Christmas. Um, but, you know, there could also be other time tracks on other things, sure. but that's most likely what's gonna happen. However, because this matches a biome you're in, it's a buried object. It Ooh. says you may roll the hazard die. Danger die. Danger actually. die. You Thank mean, you. I, I've I, said it wrong. I only just looked down at the card. Several times, but it is the danger die. Uh, it is level A, which I think is going to be common on this planet, yep. to draw two leads of any type. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that... But I'm taking it at level A, right? So, and I don't a, have to do you it. You don't have to. It's just may. Gain a wounded... I mean, I'm probably going to lose a die, so let's do it. Let's roll it. I agree. Let's get some leads. Nothing. Nothing. No danger. Take two leads. They're small. <laughs> um, I don't, I mean, we've never seen these before. Do we know what type is good versus bad? I assume, do, well, I, assume I need to declare before I pull the token I out. believe you do. It seems unfair otherwise. Yep. I, my only hint is. Mineral? Mineral comes from here, but both of these give alien tech. So, okay. I, I mean. I don't know. The, the planet already has mineral and alien tech, so it maybe... It seems like that's what they want to push us towards, does, right? yeah. So should I be adding the alien tech? Well, maybe not, right? Because I can't do mineral from where I am now, correct? Right. But mineral is from anywhere on the planet with a gathering pitchfork. Uh, pick. Alien so, tech. Here we all go. Right. Fine. One. Which will go back in the bag after we use it. That's, that's good. nice. And... and nothing. Zero. All right. But this stays out. It stays on there until, until this is done, correct. and then these go back in. The ones with the real recycle token. All right, all right. Um, well now, which uh, I'm the I'm the purpley person. I'm purple. No, I've got my own. Oh, I've got my own now. All right. Nope, you're still the start player. That's so we don't go past ah. you and take too many turns. But my turn is ended. Okay, go ahead. Yes, but all right. I've got two actions left. So um, I have. What can I do? I can turn things into shield defense, but we don't see any use for that right now. And I have dice that also don't appear. I don't know, I, and, I, and I gave up my red dice, so I can't do either of those. So I am really just um, like supporting people and doing not much right now. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't really do any of those unless Dave gives me a die. I could actually go do this. I'll give one. you a die. But I can't roll the... Comp I, I guess I could do that. I mean, we can at least clear it faster than, than not. So for my first action, I will travel, and I will... You know what? I'm going to roll the danger die. <laughs> uh, what, what's the worst that can happen? Three. three. What's three spikes on A? Nothing. And then nothing happens. Is it A? It, uh, yes, it is A. It is nothing. I told you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then for my second, second action... action I will take a special action and try to open the shelters. Okay. So, uh, Dave, I need you to please assist and roll your red die. You got it. And I will roll, actually, let's see, can I do anything cool here? I, I'm gonna roll, there, since there's no penalty for accidents, I'm gonna roll my green Vanguard die and my regular blue die for basically an automatic, actually, you know, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll my regular blue and green dice. We basically have a guaranteed success, and I have an extra die to do something with. All right, we got whatever it. you want. Double wild. Actually, that's great because now Vanguard means any symbol. Yeah. So I rolled a computer. <laughs> yeah. With this die. Okay. Gain two alien tech. Le well, okay. I'm not going to go through all ten steps this this round. Right. Right. <laughs> right. But. <laughs> Uh, but the red and the blue, sorry. Oh, uh, we didn't roll the right symbols. The red and the blue have to satisfy the bottom part of the thing. Right. So it's the green one that needs to be that needs this. to be for the top level, and I can't do that. But I will use the green die, which is otherwise not being used, for my any symbol stroke of inspiration to take a die from my spent pool back yeah. to my roll. Oh, mm. oh, and it adds it to your roll pool, so you actually roll it. 
mm. instead of right now. I would right leave now. you add it to this roll. Yeah, that's it's, how I, I was thinking. It went back to my available dice, which nope. is not as which is way better. So I'm not going to do that. So we, I don't have anything that can manipulate and get the computer. We've got the red and blue success. We gain a and and I'm not playing any cards. Dave's not playing any cards. We get the we get a success token. Okay. Uh, it's weird that I think in the tutorial there was a spot for success there tokens, and there is not now. So I'm putting them right here. Okay. Another strange book choice. Um, and unique discovery three. Replace with card P one one two. So unique discovery three. I believe this does go on the lander with other discoveries. Okay. Is Scorched Records. When you gain this card, each crew member draws one card. Mm. That's not going to be that useful because it means we're all going to have to discard one, but at least we get to choose, you know, the best ones that we like, I guess. Okay. Do, do you have a discard space to the right I of your do. board? In this case, it's going to be over here. Fine. Um, Oh, and P112 is the point of interest I'm looking for. We just got your right face up, Nikki, so that you know you don't draw from it. So, we opened the failed shelter, and it's now a resupply depot. Ooh. This crystalline arm, extending far into space, can be supplied directly from Vanguard if we're desperate enough to order an emergency drop. So the special action is emergency supply drop. You must discard a success token to perform this action. Um, accident has a red result that replaces this card with P000. As we know from the tutorial, that just basically means a blank space that does nothing. Hmm. But if we get any two good symbols, we gain three supplies before blanking out oh, the supply okay. another resupply depot. So, it's expensive because success tokens are what we want to rank up. Right. But if we really run out of supplies and want to resupply, we can do it there now. Otherwise, we have, me and Dave have opened the shelters, and I think Nikki and Lincoln are going to the crystal filaments. All right, that was my two actions. I moved, and I did the special action. Draw now card. I need to draw an event. I may as well show it here. It only has the eyes leafy, hmm? It only has for eyes for you. <laughs> <laughs> It only has the like leafy growth sort of symbol, so it doesn't match the biome. If no match, discard this card and progress all time tracks by one. In this game, the first progression on a time track always adds the token and starts on level one. Okay. So that is probably a track to add to something bad. Nikki, yeah. you now have two actions. Okay. I just I <laughs> want to get to the crystal and I think filaments. you probably do. So I move for my first action to here. And then I and roll a danger die. Flip or, that. Or use your tool. Well, no, but she wants to do it here. I think, she, I, well, she can Is do it both. a one time use? No, nope, she can do both. Okay. But I think the danger die is probably, it's Nikki's choice. Exhausting a red die is the cost of the Oh, is it die. a red? It's red. Oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. And you need red green here. Danger. Yep. Danger! Three, three spikes. Oh, see, three spikies is nothing. So there you go. Level A, correct? Stop. Yeah. And what is a what? What are the bad ones? One and two. Okay. All right. And now. So the crystalline filaments, uh, the arm of the crystal, extending deep into space, is difficult to traverse, but uh, but its uh, samples might help us understand this phenomenon. All right, so you need, you're probably going to have difficulty getting a gathering and a science and a technology, but mm -hmm. you can easily get a red and green die and get the unique discovery and finish up um, mm. this card. Right. And no one is there to assist you, so you are just choosing, I'm assuming you're doing this check, so you're yeah. cho you choose what dice. So, green, I'll do one red and two green. Sounds good. Okay. Got a little security there, or maybe you can Double use some check cards. My stuff. If Nikki r rolls an accident on the green die, yeah. does that still fulfill the red green die? No, the the accident can't be used to fulfill any objectives or okay. any um, outcomes. Okay. But it also has a two wild symbols face, which could fill two thirds of that top thing. That's true. Which is pretty great. I or, mean, or or get her stuff from cards in her hand. Right. That makes sense. 
All right, so here we go. I like her choice. Yeah, I, like I do her. too. I was just curious. Hey, so, yeah, well, okay. So she got, those. and she got a navigation compass symbol, which does nothing, and an any symbol, which does nothing, unless she can like add cards, add right. symbols from her hand or something. Okay, which is so now what I, unlikely. I can do a card, which is during dice check, re-roll one die. Okay. Yep. Why not? Why not? Which die should I re-roll? The hazard. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's the accident it's just one. nothing. That's a definitely okay. a blank. It's right getting there. you nothing. Come on! Hey! hey. And, uh, it's another problem. <laughs> All right. So, but it's not actually doing anything yet. Okay. So, you're not gonna, you don't have that top level. You don't want to spend your last card. It, it won't do anything. Okay. It's bringing a blue one out. I, into the roll or into the... From, from, from the, the spent pool. Spent pool to oh, one see. other. Interesting. Yeah. All right. But you did get acceptable symbols on red and green. So we sure. get a success token. Yay. And discovery two, which is crystalline shard. Ship management. When unloaded, this is not happening yet, we get research project R05 in the awaiting envelope. So that's going to become a scientific research project later okay. if we get it back to the ship and don't all die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's possible, Sweet. but but yeah, it is actually possible. Like, what if we got five alien tech things and wanted to throw this out of the ship? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we replace this with card P111. The crystalline filament is now a resupply depot. Okay. It is exactly the same as the other one I just read. So we can oh. spend the success token to get three more supplies. That's exactly yeah. it, it is exactly the same. All um, right. Yes, sir. Alternate mission, did we just solve uh, it? I believe we did. Uh, when you have Unique Discovery 2 and 3, discard this mission and gain a success token. Yay. We are just rocking along, you guys. We're doing real great. <laughs> it says discard, so I'm just going to put it there for now. Okay. Those are your spent uh, dice. And Nikki needs to draw an event spent. card. Spent. Yes, to thank you to your spent. Right, card. she moved, she rolled. An yep. event. And you are in void and crystalline. So I've got a void. All right, then you read the main part of the card. This part? Yep. Okay. Suit, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Suit puncture. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, blue plus green die or <gasps> gain a wound injury. Uh oh. That sounds like, unless you have some way to turn the red die blue with your card. I don't. Wait, do you? Can I do my card and pull it's, the blue out? It moves one from the roll pool. No, it moves from roll to spent to turn one other. What? Important this. Does it say during a dice check at top? Yes. Then she can't use it. Oh, no, no, no. It's, yeah, you're right. Because this okay. is just, just exhaust a blue and exhaust a green, which right. you can't do. So I gain a wound. Yes, wounded. We have an injury. Oh, okay. How do we do that? Uh, I believe you just give her the card. It's just wounded. Top oh. left. It's just a wounded injury. Got yep. it. And flip it over and put it in your first injury slot. Ouch. Okay. And now injury. does it say... It's got yeah. a little the symbol here. So you are going to roll an injury die with every dice check you do forever, oh, unless you use your med kit and get rid of it. Great. And whenever you roll that symbol, you're gonna lose another die. Oh, fun. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? That's why we gave you the med kit. Because, sure. you know, you, you, you're clumsy. Wow. You, you, it's a good thing well, we did give her the med kit. I know. It, it actually worked out because we're separated well, from her now. You know, we she's always like we ripping hand holes it in her, her space suit and like... I knew walking, I didn't want it. ...walking outside without her helmet <laughs> on. There's just you know. too much to you see know, and do. You know. And get excited. I'm sorry. You know Gabolahan Musa. She's always doing stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> Let me move this into a, a s slot. Yeah. Oh, it takes up a slot? Yes. Which is not really going to matter because right now we don't have very many dice. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I assume you, that it doesn't exhaust. Right. <laughs> and like... <laughs> Well, no, I mean, it roll. It, it doesn't go to the spent pool. It doesn't go pool. to the spent pool. It rolls in every check. <laughs> okay. I but, have you know, a med you kit. can see we'll that there are it. certain, like, dice slots that only unlock when you get to level two or three. Right. So if you already had two red dice, which you do. I see. And, the, and that went in, like, your red slot, you wouldn't be able to recover all those red dice. Okay. Especially if you got multiple wounds. All right. You pass the token to Lincoln, and yep. Lincoln's ready for his first action. Go, Lincoln. Okay, well, I guess I will travel. Go, Lincoln. Do the same thing over here. 
you know. I don't. Is it? I mean, the dice are different now. So and well, this is our goal, right? Yeah. So maybe you want to come here. Yeah. I don't mean, we just all want to get have here? Nikki just finish that up? But that I mean, way. something's going to appear here when Nikki gets here. Do we want to have a two and two team? Oh, I see what you're saying. Do and we, both locations eventually can lead here. Well, we're uh, at the risk of short circuiting things. All we care about is this, and then we're done with this planet, correct? Yeah, but we haven't explored it. At the risk of thinking like a game designer, why would these spaces be here? All right, <laughs> I'm just asking. Okay. All we know is that when we get here, we're done with this car. Ah, thank you very much. Okay, good. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, well, I will no, attempt to go over there. No, I'm gonna go there. Mark? It's whatever's yeah, gonna happen is so. gonna happen, right? So here we go. One. Hey, one. Oh, that's bad. One is. I lose a die. Just put a die over to this bit, which is what okay. you would have done if you did. Which is what, die. right? The normal so travel it, cost. I guess yeah. I want to get rid of. This has the most. Well, it's a lot of bad on it. But, but only I, it's, only it's, if accident does something. Otherwise, it's just half. Right. Blank. Should I just use this one then? I that's think the I weakest would. one. Okay. Well, that that isn't necessarily the weakest one. Because you can. Well, it is the weakest because it's cause, DNA and you don't care about right, DNA. Right. Exactly. Science, okay. Science. Or All right. So that was science. Thank you. No, biology. No, biology. 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 Yeah, yes, yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> There's so okay. many uh, symbols. So. All right. So, do you want to... I, we don't actually... We haven't used any supplies yet. Right. Do you want to move do again? Do you want to move again? And just skip And just see card? what's here? Sure. I so kind of think that's... I expend two dice to do that? Yeah. Sure. So, your first action on your next turn will be to just bring dice Probably, back. Probably, yeah. Right. Just refresh them. Okay. But we get to find out what happens here. Sure. Then let's just do that. And and it's log 16 in the app. All right. So that was move yeah. and, and move. move. So you're done. Well, we're oh, doing I 16, didn't right? Turn yep. My yeah. thing over. Oh, yeah. But we knew, we gave you the unit. I didn't either. You're right. I'm done. <laughs> we're passing the ridge of solidified lava. Don't forget to gather samples. It may tell us something about the composition of the planet's core. It might be somehow related to this crystal. Wait, there's a whole field of antennae up ahead. They are humongous. Perfect place to scavenge some alien tech. Define humongous, away team. At least several times larger than our Earth's vast telescope. Diameters measured in kilometers. Place card P114 in this sector. Ultra large array. Ooh. This Wait, four. I, I, I was like, why am I over there? there oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. I moved the wrong one. This forest of enormous antennae indicates this civilization tried to communicate with someone or something. And the special actions available here is study the array, which can get you two alien tech leads with a technology and science result, or with a blue die and any other two dice, which aren't accident or something blank, you get a success token and replace this with another card. Okay. So there are alien tech leads or and or success there. Okay. All right. That was my, that I was done and we're now at nope. the- Nope, event card. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. If no icons match no, this no. card- Yeah, oh. void, sorry. That's void and- Apologies. Yeah. yeah. Ruins. Well, the ruins is on here. Then read the main part it of the says, card. If no icons match this, okay, uh, or progress all time tracks by one. Mm. See, it says if if no icons match this card, uh, match discard this card and progress then, all yeah. time tracks by one. But instead, it's in stuck. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, which yeah. is exhausted die or and progress all time tracks or, okay, by one. I get it. Oh, actually, I mean. We I'm only going to get half of my dice. Though. You're only getting three back, and yeah, those are pretty good ones. Pretty I say do the time track. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've had a, a lot of non-time track cards sure, so sure. far, so I think it's fine. Okay. All right. Um, okay. There's no special end of round upkeep or anything. We just choose a new start player. Okay. So it could be Lincoln to just do this right away or get his dice back anyway. That's fine with me. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't? I don't see us needing to go in a particular order. Or how about this? If it's Nikki, she goes here and then she's available to assist him and vice versa. I don't have that many dice. Neither does Lincoln. But okay. if you have one, you can hand it to Lincoln if he sure. does a skill check on his turn. All right. Why don't I just do that? I yeah, sort of think that, that makes sense. Makes to sense. Me. All right, everybody so flip your little planet over to green. I'm the start player. So you're the start player. There you go. So you can also move and then get your dice back. Okay. So I move. 
Are you jetpacking it? Are you jetpacking or are you using two dice? Oh, jet I'll jetpack it. Jetpack just uses a red die. So it's, that's so it. You just red die. My red die travel. goes here. Yep. My jetpack, is that a one time use? No, no, it's, it's just for the whole game. Okay. So, yeah. it's a jetpack. There. And then I would probably, let's use up some supplies and do a rest. A rest. So if you do, you use a supply, you get any three dice back to your uh, active, available dice. What is most helpful for you, Lincoln? Red dice? Because he's I'm also going to get dice back. I forgot about the the injury thing too. Disc uh, discard uh, one charge, spend one charge to ignore the results of all your injury dice. But didn't it? Uh, he can turn red dice into. Uh, repair. Oh, by I think keep thinking that's a wrench, but biology doesn't matter right nope. now. Well, I'm just thinking of the three. Well, definitely blue. I will get a red. Okay, oh, blue. Oh yeah, definitely for blue. Him. Yeah, okay. whatever we need. What symbols do we just blue, blue and blue. anything? Computer. Anything. Do you have computer or science? Oh, I that, do not. not I would My also green say dice don't technology. Don't do, I think that's don't. technology, right? Um, technology is computer. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. It's I, all right. I think it's always a good idea to refresh your Vanguard die, the one that has multiple wilds on it. Yep. Take Which back. is this one. Yes. Yep. So I will do these three. There you go. So put them in the slots like that, that they go one in. You need. I'm just trying to help you out. Yep. I, have I have that one too. Red or this red. This red's not as good, I don't think. Okay, done. And you also get to draw one section card, so you get one more of your cards into hand. Section card. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's your two actions. And that's, that's my two actions. Two. I'm so done. So an event card. An event happens. And you are in void and ruins. Neith none. Neither. Then, so then it's just time track, I believe. Oh, discard progress time track. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Lincoln. Burr. Okay. Well, I guess I need to recoup. Yep. Spend a supply. Yeah, I think that's fine because then you know, then you or I can yeah. maybe do the resupply if we yep. need to. Do it. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Supplies are at four. I will definitely get the blue, and I will get the. Um, do I need that one? I want the one that has the. This isn't it, is it, or is it? The other one's no. the one that has all the wilds on it. Oh no, this is the one that has all yeah, the wilds. Yeah, I think on so. It. Yeah. So I'm okay there. Yeah, um, the I don't really know. I'll get a green and a blue, a red. It sure, really that makes matter. sense. Yeah. This has armor and a success. Okay, in case I need all that stuff. There we go. Okay, that's action one. And oh yeah. You Wait, also and draw a card. He doesn't one. have to, does he? Uh, it does say draw one section card from your deck. Okay, okay. maybe something different. You have to discard right away, though, right? For sure. Yeah, I, I don't think I, there's I know really, which one. I don't think there's really a bad. I'm I'm just cutting face up on the bottom of my deck. I think that because yeah, there's no room over that's here. That's fine. Just in case anyone's curious. Thanks for thanks for just things. <laughs> I'll keep this one here. Okay. Was that one or two actions? That was, that was two because I. Oh no, I didn't. That's right. I have another. T I have an action left because I just. Um, you just did the rest. The rest. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, well, I guess I can try to do the one of these tasks. Yeah, I'm not going to be probably getting. Either, I mean, I have to have a lot of uh, wilds. Well, a, a blue and any two succeeds. Uh, yeah, right. So you want to roll at least three altogether. Are there any? And don't forget, you know? Are don't there forget, any negative effects on this card? No, no. there's okay. no accident effects or anything. Okay. No red. Don't you know? Don't forget, vanguards can turn into these symbols. So if you roll. Multiple vanguards, or can turn. Sure, I could have a good, good result, yeah. but I want to do. Or can re-roll. It's always worth. Should trying. I just do one of each, or just red? Uh, I feel like throwing one extra in there is usually pretty good, and and maybe Nikki's going to give you a die. I am. Does that? My you don't have to. Does you my to. wounded? When I'm giving someone a die. It does not. It, okay. You take all of your injury dice okay. into hand when you are doing a dice right. check. I think he needs another blue, right? Well, no. I mean, the blues. No. He needs one blue and, t and eight, two well, others. But I mean, anything mm. extra that he rolls are possible things he can do, right? right. Because you have cards, let, for example. Let, See let's what ask him this. Yeah. If your blue die flubs, can you re-roll it? 
otherwise no, they, I, they I don't have. Then, uh, then I think Nikki should give yeah. you the blue ah, just in case. Because you're right. Because yep. you must have a blue symbol. Yep. Yep. Well, Nikki's ruling the blue. Yeah. And she got oh, there. You go. Two vanguard symbols. Wow. So if you just take the two vanguards and assign them up top, then you get the yellow result, and the arrow goes down to the green without even having to worry about the other Sweet. three guys. Nice. So, can you do anything with the blue basic symbol on your cards to turn it into anything else? Um, no, I mean, it's I don't have anything like that. All right, that. just checking. I mean, any die, I can draw two cards. But that's not really that great. Yeah, no. That's much better when we have actual hands. Wait, wait what's your other any die? Is it? No, it's, oh, uh, it's a shield. shield. Got it. Re -roll, uh, yeah. Refresh two red okay. dice, which was uh, exciting, but it's yep. not happening. So. Making Vanguard's wild, we got the top. Give Link in the bag, he gets two alien tech leads. Oh, hey, exciting. Hopefully there will be something that will help us here. Nope. That's all right, you didn't want the big one to be first anyway, because then you'd waste it. And no. Ugh. Wow, yeah. This is hard getting this. I know. This tech must be good, because it's hard to get. <laughs> yeah. we, we've been working on it. It better while. be good. All right. We also get one success token, which is great, and we replace this card with P115. The array control room. Ooh. The mainframe controlling the array is too large to move huh. and extremely complex. But we can try to decipher the alien systems. If you have Unique Discovery 3, which we do, Yay. you may treat any basic symbol success as xenology. That's the Yay. little alien eyeball guy. Ooh. So. Xenology is what moves the green track along to success, and any other symbol is what moves the red track along to reset the green track. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not horrible, horrible, but it's not horrible because it's just a time waste. So you basically need to roll basic symbols over everything else, mm. Mm. or xenology, which includes wilds and vanguards. Mm. All right, but that was your. We did the. Yeah, we, that was both my actions. And then, did, wait, invent. Yep, I know. Okay. Turn that I didn't flip this over, but <gasps> yes. It's all right. It'll tell you what How to dare do. You. Okay, your symbol This is like everything. Oh. It says, if no icons match this card, this card, so yeah. It's, it's void uh, and... Oh, it's literally all is six. It it's yeah. all six icons. Yeah. No, there's there's like 12. Okay. Well, void and... But yeah. void and uh, ruins <laughs> yep. are... Void is not on there, but ruins is. Ruins is, is. yep. Okay. Right. Uh, faint clues. Chasing this lead will require a lot of work and equipment. You may pay one supply to gain two leads of any type. That seems Ooh. pretty good. Do it, because aren't we about to spend these for supplies? Yeah. But we get how many supplies? We get three. We'll go back to full, basically. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, let's All do right. it. All right. So draw two more. Sorry. Right, for watch. any tech type or alien type? I think it says any. Is it any, any? But it does say of any type. I don't think we can split it between two different ones. Which one do you want to do? Well, let's try to finish the one we yeah, can't let's finish. I, finish that. I seem to agree. It's got to be. A2. All right. All right. So that immediately should clear and... And these ones go back in that are refreshed. Yeah. Uh, Do you still get to draw one more? Yes, but I think it has to go on Alien Tech since we've already decided that this is Alien Tech leads. Okay. And then this one stays out and this one stays out? Yeah, those are just okay. used. These just don't go back in the right. back. I'm going to flip this because it could also have an instant effect. Right. I believe it does. Oh, no. It's when unloaded, when we put it onto the right. Vanguard, it's a research project. It is... Monomolecular materials. Okay, okay. here goes that one sounds more. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like a Just. job for me. Hey, another two. Ah, that's nice. nice. Good job. Oh, all right. You I know, know I'm going to draw the three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And Just waste, waste it. it. Just I almost want to draw here. I know. <laughs> all right. So that was Lincoln's full turn. All right, David. Okay. I am going to um, spend a supply. And then get some supplies. To get three yeah. dice, and they're going to be these. And then I am going to s spend a success token to gain supplies. This? Mm -hmm. One, two. And if I Wait, uh-uh. It's a dice check. You still have to roll. You can fail supplying the ship. I can? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, and there is a cost in this one. Yeah. Damn. So you need... You need to roll two successful symbols without... Gain three supplies. Oh, otherwise we don't get the supplies at all. Right. And you just blow up the card. Space is risky. It, yeah, there's no guarantees in space. <laughs> um. But I can assist you. I'll throw the third die in, unless you can re-roll. 
If you want to just roll two dice and have you have re-rolls. No, I'm going to roll these three. Okay. Will you do that for me? Sure. I trust you. Famous last words. Eek. All right, you got two. You got two successes with one accident. Oh, no. Oh, but you go from top to bottom. So we get the green result first before the red. Okay. Uh, Unless you want to re-roll the accident die for a card effect. Can I is the question. Can I? Can I? Ugh, I can't. Well, you gained the three supplies. Yeah, what's that's, the problem? That's what we okay. Well, I mean, he had some. Yeah, other but it, it cost me all my. Dice. It cost him all the dice he just got back. <laughs> all right. That's all right. right. We're up to five supplies. And this now, do we replace this with P zero zero zero? Yes. Which is just mm. essentially blank. It just means we can't do you that do, again. You all need right. a sleeve. Um, oh, thank you. Can I have my dice, please? Yeah. Well, that was unfortunate. Hey, but we. And we don't go down to the red, though. We did. No. Oh, it's the same thing. Because number. the green is re- replaced with this, and then it's the same thing okay. anyway. And nothing interesting. I can have an event card that will advance the time track since I assume there's no flag on that no, event no. card. No, no, you still have these two. Oh, you're right. Things. They're right there. I'm so silly. Uh, nothing, nothing covers those. Matches, doesn't match, doesn't match. So, so the please track. advance the time track. By no, none of them matched? No. Nope. You said matches at the top. It doesn't. Mat- right. does leaf and okay. I don't know what that is. Volcano. Oh, man, that's the volcano. No, it's caves. It caves. looks like a volcano, but it's caves. Oh, I can see The it. volcano is actually exploding. The volcanic Oof. one actually has life. It was an ambush, so I'm actually Ooh, glad yeah. I did not match this. But things. I don't see, mm. that makes sense because there's nothing living on this planet. So this card is only for like forested and cave things with living creatures. It's thematic. It? I know, it's actually, it's a good way to use the cards <laughs> for like so multiple cool. things. That's so cool, here you go. Thank you. Uh, well, since Dave has left me an empty space, yeah. I believe I'm gonna travel. Yeah. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm gonna travel and see what this Log is. Log fifteen, and then um, yeah, let me. Uh, I gotta roll on, the danger die first. He's gotta get there, and then I'm gonna have to probably just refresh, it, even though there'll be something exciting and new. Kind of like love. Oh, I was gonna say that same thing. One, that's not good. <laughs> exhausted uh, die. Oh, exhausted die. See, it's just pay a die. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just pay this uh, green one, and then yeah, log fifteen, please. The scans were correct. There are several interesting sites in this sector. There you go, that was exciting. <laughs> that, that was the whole thing? Yep. Find all three P113 cards. Place Ooh. a random one in this sector and return the rest to the points of interest. Card tray A. And return the rest to points of interest, card tray A. All right, Dave, what, are, what did we find? Buried signal. This mountain of charred rubble comes alive as a beacon-like signal sounds deep beneath it. All right, so. Uh, f- wow. I, you tell me. I'm, I'm having trouble sort of okay. deciphering the Now, remember, parts. our mission is to fully explore this sector, so it basically means complete this check. Um, this is one with two tracks. Only the gathering symbol progresses the top track which gains two alien tech leads. But any die symbol progresses the bottom track, which will eventually lead to log 22. So eventually, really, we just have to burn enough dice, but there's also... What was this, though? What are those icons there for next to buried signal? Ah, that is the danger uh, danger die symbol. That means for any dice you any die check you do here, you must roll the danger die. So you see for... Step two, it's add danger dice if required and injury dice. This is the first thing we've ever seen that actually adds That's danger what, dice. That's it. what it is. Good, okay. good eye because their symbols are tiny. But yes, so uh, I'm not going to do a check yet. I'm going to use up some supplies to get dice back. Yep. Uh, supplies are back down to four. What do we need? Gathering. I do not have that, but I will want... It says, reminder, the sector is, full, is fully explored only when you reveal... A card with the flag icon. Right, which is what I'm sure Log 22 will probably sure. have us do. But we can't do that until someone I guess else gets there. I it told you that because it's right yep. here on yeah. that one. That's how also like, yeah. Yeah, you're done. Draw an event. Uh, thanks, Dave. What, what are we, it's only crystalline. So you were down And there's no, there's five symbols but no crystal. So progress the time track. We're two away from whatever that is. 
bad it's gonna be worse. Stuff. And that was another full round. Yes, it was. So who wants to start? Now? I believe, like we did last time, I should so that I can join you. I actually believe that is correct. And then you Unless can... we want them to move first, but we don't really know. Actually, I like I like us moving first because I think we'll be able to do this, and then that will inform what they're going to move to. I only have two dice anyway. There's so. that. Right. You're, you're sort three. of on a. A recovery turn. So we will refresh Again. to yep. yes. turn available. Here's your start the starter. player. Okay. Right. So I'm going to move here and well, um, danger die or exhaust a die? You can exhaust your final die. I, I'm. Yeah, I'll roll. Wait. Uh, what? No, you yeah. think I should roll? No, I, th I was going to say here's what I think. Yeah. No matter what you roll or do, I, I think you should exert to get five dice back yep. instead of rest. So I have a card that will let me take two blue dice back. Okay. But yeah. only if I roll symbols that I haven't been rolling. That I've works been, too. That's I what see. I've been trying to do. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let me do this. Hey. That's, that's four. Three. Three. That's it's nothing. It's four. It's, it's three. three. It's nothing. No, it's that three. Is, that's the four. That is, that is four. four, yeah. You are correct. I, I've seen but this is, die. But it is still nothing. What is, what's the one we don't want to roll? Two? One. Two or Two. one. One what? is just a die. But one is just a die. It's the same okay. cost as traveling. I'm bringing anywhere, this one back so that I can lend it to right. you. Right? Thank you. That makes sense. Um, I want that one. And I don't need... That's really all I need, right? So I'm going to bring the... I'm going to bring these both back. This one and this one. And... Uh, that was turn. That's my two actions. An event card, and only crystalline, only crystal. and no crystalline. So tracks by one. Yep. Ooh, corrosive fumes. Dave, <laughs> Dave what, what did you have for space In your lunch? Suit, no less. <laughs> Just some right. tang and a peanut uh, butter stick. <laughs> All right. Uh, turn your dealy over. Yep, turn your planet to no. Thank you. pink or whatever. Thank you. I think I'm going to roll all my dice. We, I mean, need, we need five to get to here. and You're going to get two pickaxes anyway. Or no, you're going to get three. two gathers. need three. Pick. Oh, well, you're going to get one from me for sure. Why? Because well, I'm, I'm rolling with you. Don't you want me to roll with you? Yeah, yeah. But why? But you have to roll pickaxe. Uh, that's discovered. all this is. That's all this is, is gathering. Gather, gather, no. gather. This is my gather dice. It's I know, got but it's four and, 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 it's got a, and it's got a miss. All right, so then I uh, won't. No, 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 never mind. No, I definitely want it. Oh, no, you clearly don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the whole reason why you had to go first. It is. Do you want more? But I also have to roll the ding. No, no, you can only add one. So this is my question. How many dice are you actually rolling? Well, I'm rolling... All my dice, but you only ever add one danger die. Okay, that was my question. I couldn't remember. You don't do the danger separate? Okay. Nope. It is it is part of the roll. All right. Hey, hey. gathering. Boom. Uh oh, two is two? Two? Two is, uh, yeah, two is a wounded injury. Oh no, I'm wounded. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Am I allowed to use my and four <laughs> misses? <laughs> yeah. Am I allowed to use your thing? Am I allowed to use your my power on your roll? Does it what does it what does it say? During a dice check, if at least two results in the roll pool are oh, there's in the window. Never, never mind. I thought we had two vanguards. No, what are those called? Uh, vanguard is the the triangle. Yeah. If we had two vanguards, then I can I can get rid of all of the exclamation point dice. Well, they don't really they don't matter. You just get rid oh, of you're them. you're right, they don't hurt you. You don't re-roll them. Okay, never mind. All right, well, I'm going to use Stroke of Inspiration to re-roll a blue die. All right. Did Go you ahead and give me my injury? wounded injury, because yeah. I don't think there's any way to re-roll or change that. Okay. At least not yet. Come on, Vanguard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it is? Okay. Yes, during a dice check, because I can play one card. I'm assisting you. Yes. I'm in the same space. Uh, any basic symbol <laughs> converts to a gathering. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh. So now we have so one, we have two, three gatherings. Which is exactly Done. what we need for one, two, three. Oh, look at that. Alien tech leads! And then we get... Uh, what are you doing it for? Do you have to decide before you draw? It's, it's, it's actually alien tech. It's oh. alien tech leads <laughs> on the card. Okay, two draw, alien tech I, get, I don't get draw to choose one. nothing. Uh, 
All right. I'm, I'm just going to get I'm going to choose. I'm just going to oh, get no. ready to turn this no, over. No, don't. You're going to get. Then I'm going to draw two zeros. No, you're going to draw the three. There's a zero. zero? No, no. Well, that's right. They went back in. They did. Yes. All the recycled ones went back in. And a one. Yay. Yay. Okay, All right. The two goes it. away. Here you go, Aaron. It is Alien Data Vault. When you gain this discovery, you may flip an incomplete rank up card to the completed side. Nice. Wow. We weren't even thinking about this. I totally forgot about the extra skill check for the rank up card. Mm, nice. Thanks, Alien Data Vault. <laughs> all right. This goes right. to Spanish. So you get that back. I get all these. I got my injury. This discards. All right. Now. So those are all uh, spent, spent. All right, we go to log 22, Lincoln. Okay. Vanguard, we are close to the signal source. Proceed with caution, away team. Our advisors have several conflicting opinions as to what this thing may be. Some insist it is a trap made to... We've got it. It's supposed it's to be the sound of shifting rubble. Satellite? Any ideas, Vanguard? It could have fallen from the sky. No, it's buried too deep. <laughs> it seems the end of this planet was rather explosive. Uh -oh. This piece of the crust must have impacted the satellite in the wake of the explosion. Good find, away team. Grab what you can and continue the mission. Gain one alien tech discovery. Wow. Oh. Okay. Discovery, not just a leak. That's what it says. Gain one alien tech discovery. Living bioweave. Planetary wow. exploration. During dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself. Add a vanguard to the roll pool and then discard it. So it's a one-time wild, basically. Yeah. Okay. Wherever that goes. Okay, and then we sa it says, you see another interesting place in this area. Remove this card from the game and replace it with another P113 card. Ah, here, I can just use if this. If there were none again. left, you would do it the zero, the P000, but we have some left, because you put We gotta away. find the flag one. That ain't no, I, oh, I we have to probably do all three. There's not a flag for every single place. So we probably have to do all three of these. Strip mines. Wide swaths of the swaths of the planet's surface are covered with strip mines, overshadowed by the hulking, enormous machines. All right, Scout the Mines has a danger die. It needs a, a strength and a gathering, and we gain three mineral leads, but just a red and a blue goes to log nine. Three However, mineral leads? Wow. Yeah. Gain three mineral leads. And then draw and resolve. But it gets harder to like have successes, Ooh. right, as we go. It comes with an extra event card, though. Really? Right? When you the, finish. If we go from top to bottom. But going to the middle one will probably get rid of the card by reading log. Oh, nine. log nine. So really, what? How do you get to the red one? Does accidents put it there, or there's no accident symbol on it? But maybe if you just fail. Oh yeah, you just don't like you're you don't get the red and the blue because you roll. Accidents are blanks. Right. If you only roll red and blue and you don't get symbols on them. Now uh, you're on your second. Action. Now I'm on my second action, but before my second action. Yep. I'm gonna spend my charge to refresh two green dice. Okay. That is not an action. That is just my special little thing thing. Okay. <laughs> thing thing. And then I will use supplies to rest and recover three other dice. Okie doke. And draw one card. You need at least one red and one blue right. for this card. That's good to know, Steve. You're welcome. Although you're gonna well, you you'll probably go before me. Probably and I'll draw a card. And that was my two actions, and I'm going to take an event. And it's probably going to do this, because we're still on only crystalline. Nope, it's cave and rocky and... All right. Oh, it would have been suit tear. Uh, no icons match. Progress all time tracks by one. Replace with card G02. Gamma flashes. The crystalline structure begins <laughs> to admit sudden gamma flashes. Should we take shelter? All dice checks gain the following special effect. Any two, what are they, I forgot that thing. Basic? No, what's the exclamation point again? Accident. Any two accidents is roll the danger, danger die. die. Mm. Oh, Aaron, that would have been bad on the. 
Yeah, I know, I'm all four. <laughs> and then travel is spend either a red or a blue, it looks like. Oh okay. no, travel is roll a red or a blue? No, it's it's red or no, blue. Look. Uh, uh. Oh right. It's red or blue moves to a connected sector. If not, you have to spend two you have to exhaust any two dice. Oh, okay, got it. So if you failed to roll either a red symbol or a blue symbol, you have to spend two dice and exhaust them. Got so it. travel got a lot harder. Yep. Which is why Nikki's jetpack is good. And it's Nikki's turn. Okay. Do we want to do we need to worry about this card? I mean, you don't really because all it's going to do is get you to log 250, but you also I don't think you can actually move to this space because there's nothing there. There's nothing, we well, don't know right. what to do there's yet. nothing there. Oh wait, and we haven't fully explored this space yet. So oh, because there's still more P-113s. Right. So I have to stay here because well, I thought if I, mean, I went here it would we would explore it. it. There's but, nothing okay. there though. I mean, All right. you may be able to move to a blank space, but you just have to keep on moving and come mm. up here to explore this one. So, so I, I, just I guess you should just because that's where you are. Hang out. Uh, so you want uh, you want xenology symbols, which you can any basic result is the same. That's as that. fantastic, but I would like to first get uh, my dice. Well, you have three dice. I mean, you have to roll the. You could the just injury. roll all your three. Yeah. Does wait? She has the med pack. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She might as well use it. Now, Does yeah. you, is, the, is that an action using it? Yes. Okay. It's, and it's a um, green. Die. Aaron, you didn't flip your little green die med kit. All right. And I get to get rid of the yep. yellow yeah, die. Yeah, that's the important part. And and that's not an action, and so you have two action actions action. left. Wonderful. I would like to take back uh, my yep. dice. So that's so three. Rest, rest, two for uh, Rest yeah. for right. three. Yep. Yep. I guess I'll do a red and two green. You don't want the blue, potentially? Do we even care, I guess, on this one? Uh, we only care about xenology and basic successes. Mm. Well, the and blue is, the, is all basic. Yeah, it's the, it's the lowest um, di value. Uh, oh, that's true. My, I can turn green die turn into xenology. Oh. Oh, then yeah. never mind. So that's why I wanted my green. So I don't really care if I take well, a red, take the, the, red blue or the blue versus the, blue. the red. Okay. Oh wait, is it? Yeah. I mean, I don't. You have a high end. That's a basic uh, die as well. Yeah. So either one. So there's the blue, <clears throat> and the green, and the green. And you also get to draw one card, even though you're going to have to discuss well, card. Maybe it's more wonderful. Yeah. Sure ain't. <laughs> okay. So there's that card. I am going to roll three. Plus the blue. And yep. you want to assist her since you're gonna. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. Is it gonna uh, help you I, it, in any way? Yeah. I mean, uh, don't forget any basic symbol is yeah. good. Can Let's you the green, the green can you turn green. any green die into base no. into? No, it has green to basic. be a basic. I'm just saying okay. because I'm rolling a green die. That was maybe what he's asking. Hey, look at that. There yeah. you go. Wow. All right. I got That's no actually pretty basic good. for me. No, we got the blue one. Oh, that, but I can't. But it already counts because of here. Okay. Any basic is xenology. All right. So I'm going to change this one into. Well, I mean, it, it is, it, a, it is any to. basic it is, is xenology. Right. Yeah, you actually don't even need that because the card already does it. All right. So we have. Okay. That's fine. One. How many does you need? Two. Vanguard is three. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you re-roll the accident? I can. Let's or see. Or re-roll the... Do you have a card? I can re-roll anything. I do have... Uh, With this one. During a dice check, re-roll no. one. I would, I would give that a shot because we're already at three out of four. Okay, so the accident, I'm going to use that card to re-roll. Yep. Yay. How about two. that? Two Vanguards. We actually overskilled that one. We got five successes. Mm. Uh, Lincoln, log 250. Okay. It's, it should be something nice and good. Research log 18C. The study of the array revealed the creatures of this planet made a significant effort to contact other civilizations. However, once they realized they were doomed, 
They tried to rewire this massive, complex form of a giant receiver into a giant transmitter. The message they tried to send is unfortunately impossible to recover. We can only wonder whether it was some sort of final testament, an admission of a great mistake, or a warning they hoped to deliver to other civilizations. Another disconcerting find is that many terminals and devices here are designed to accommodate users of different shapes, sizes, and numbers of limbs, even though this wasn't a space-faring civilization, and even though it used a single language. We must learn more about this place to form an hmm. opinion. Gain one. Uh, I guess that's success, yes. And two alien tech leads. Nope. Ooh. Replace the POI in this sector with card P000. Go ahead, Nikki. Draw to me. Okay, so there's one. Nope. Come on, three. There's a lot of We zeros. haven't seen the three yet. No, I there's think there's two. only like two right. threes out of 20 tokens, something wow. like that. They're yeah. still in there, though, I know. Right? I know. I'm just saying. Um, um, that was it, so was it's that your an event. That was your second, actually. Yeah? Yeah. All right, event. And you have void and ruins. I can't help but note that didn't put a card here. No, I think this is the only thing that's going to put All a card right. here. Ruins, we match. Oh. And there was only one symbol on yep. there to match. That's okay. probably good. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I doubt it. Impossible structure. Uh, no. Roll. Wait, that. Put all, first put all your dice in the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's yours. All right. Now roll. So we roll that. Yep. Do we want to know what it is if... I don't care. Let's just do that. Blank. Okay. One. It's one. If this roll has no effect, refresh all blue. But no, it's a one. It's which a means one. Dumb. Does it? Is it letter A? Uh, it's a C. Okay, well that's also send a die. Same thing, send a die. So then burn your last red die. Yay. And you don't get to refresh blue. Okay. Mm. All right, at least you didn't get hurt. Um. And we didn't move this along? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know what Lincoln's going to do for his turn. I have. I can't even help you out. Okay. Well, I guess there's not, not much I can do. So I will, um, I will uh, exert to refresh the five. Okay. Which is that. I mean, that's my strength. That doesn't seem like we've needed it like we thought we might need. So that goes back in your thing. Yeah, it goes into the box. Yeah, well... We're near the end, so... We need it here. Uh, strength. Well, I'm not over there. All right. All right. It would well, cost you still have two actions. Yep. No, that... No, I have... Oh, no, exertion, exertion is, is not free. an action. That's exertion right. is not an action. Okay, what else can I do? I guess move, move twice. Move twice, or... Or or you could do the weirdly... Uh, you could, like, move and then prepare to try and get some card combo going, even though I don't think that's really used often that useful. Okay, didn't have my basic one in that spot. I don't. I don't even know if I, I guess this is the basic one. Should put him in the right kind of zone. Yeah, it does help. Okay. Or you or you double move so that you can double assist me and Dave when we try to f clear out that those cards. Okay. Okay. Well, moving here costs you either a red or a blue. Right. And then moving here just costs two more. Right. And then you can cost a red or a blue that he has to roll. And then you can and then you can spend a supply and refresh. Okay. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Yeah. I mean, it's just an expensive turn to move. Well, all the, the way game across. has finally sort of gotten crunchy, right? Yeah. All right, that's okay. good. So that's yeah. a move. That's a safe move. Whoops. Yeah. You you want him to be this well because guy. he had all those red dice. So right. I think I'm being red. No, no, no you that's roll just these. A, those are just exhaust. Oh, okay, exhaust them. Okay. Just yeah. pick two and exhaust them. Yep. All right. Hey, you're here. All right. I guess now, if that's the case. Now draw an event card, and if it doesn't have crystal, I'll just put do this. Yep. Let me just see what the die. Did I get? No, I got at least have one that has the value. Uh, yeah. the you, they all have one Vanguard. No, but I have the double the double one still yeah. available. Okay. Uh, roll. I mean, event. Exit event card. Yeah. If no icons match, discard this card and progress all time tracks by one. So obviously there's more time tracks as we... Uh, yeah, well, and we're in a very limited terrain, so there's just not that much going on there. Right. Okay. 
All right. Dave, start again. Yep, we're just back so to the start. He and I, can, I mean, he and I can take two shots at clearing this. Well, Lincoln's there too now. That's what I'm saying. But Lincoln's assisting because he only has two dice. I only have three. I oh, mean, well then, I don't see. Exert it. yourself. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Don't forget. Um, don't forget. This is a danger. Oh, is it? No, it's not dangerous. The other one was. This, uh, look. Oh, the double All accident. Dice checks. That's right. All dice checks come with the double accident now. Yeah. All right, let's get some injuries going. <laughs> um, I'm almost tempted to... But we only need red and blue to get to log nine. Let's just clear this one. I mean, I'm tempted to prepare. Well, okay, what do I need? Just red and blue? Just that's red it. and blue. And I have red and blue. Unless we're getting... Although, look, look... Oh, and don't forget, which we forgot on Nikki's turn while she was getting, we have a free Vanguard symbol ready and loaded in our... Alien artifact. Chamber. Okay, one accident doesn't hurt us. Correct. correct. Only pairs. Okay. Should I just go do it? Should I just roll a red and a blue? Yeah. And go just to roll a red and blue. Yeah. All right. So this is my this is my action. And one. then either we can burn this or you can re-roll. Go for it. And then we'll just hammer the third card. You're good. We go to log nine. Uh, hang on. Unless you want, you can change. I was going to say the red. Uh. To a gather? Bl the blue... Oh. You've already got... I know. Oh. You can change the... No, you can't I have change. nothing that I can do to the You red. can't change the red to a gather. So log what? I don't think it's worth wasting the alien either. vanguard. I don't either. Log nine, Lincoln. Let's get off this card. Yes, log nine. Look at this. What were they digging for? Lime. The walls and piles contain mostly calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide. I guess they were making concrete. Enough concrete to fill a small sea. Hmm. New objective. Find out what the concrete was used for. Replace the place of interest in Sector 6 with card P116. Replace mission card M21 with mission card M22. Read mission card... Uh, read, read card M22. Mission card M22. Mission. The final effort. Wherever we go... We see signs of the massive construction effort this civilization undertook in its final weeks. But what were they building and where? The roads and transport systems point to an area not far from here. Objective, find and unlock the Doomsday Sphere. When you fulfill this objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. And now that we know that the Doomsday Sphere is there, too bad Lincoln just ran right past it. <laughs> That's all right. Because it wasn't there yet. Uh, we need a bunch of successes which are physical gathering and mechanical or repair and that will send us to log 240 but all any double accident is bad for injuries and any what is this oh accidents will also progress this which makes more event cards happen Oof. okay okay and it says you discover another exciting area Remove this card from the game and replace it with another P113 card. Ah. If there are no more P113 cards, replace this card with P000. So this is the last P113 card and it's a medical wing. However, I yeah. say we ignore it and let's just Agreed. get out of here and go the The ruined facility the contains a bewildering plethora of organic remains and biohazards. Adequate protection is advised. If you have no shields in your roll pool, then you automatically gain an exhausted injury. Ooh, that's harsh. Otherwise... Yeah, there would be security that could go through that, I yeah. guess. I can turn any green basic into a shield. Nice. Yeah, you got three green dice. And remember, it did. That's what it told. That's why it told us to bring shields down to the planet. All right, Dave. What's your second? First, take your dice and put them in the yep. spent pool. Yep. And then, what's your second action? Uh, so I'm going to exert now. Do I have to? If I exert, I have to use this one, right? No. Uh, another thing that I knew definitely offhand and didn't look up in the rule book <laughs> while we paused. You can exert from the spent uh, pool I'm or the available right pool. I want to put the weaker. Uh, yeah. Sorry for not telling you. I'm getting you when rid you did of the that. vanguard with all the. What? Oh, oh, I guess yeah, accidents are very dangerous right now. Accidents. Are otherwise, I, otherwise too. I would groan at that crazy decision. Yeah, go ahead and swap yours. So yeah, swap yours. that's not an action. That and is then not an for action. my second action. It does have a lot of injuries on it. Yeah. I am gonna move to here and it's only three exhaust only and fifty move any two chance. dice. Okay, which two? <laughs> it's got a lot of vanguards. <laughs> All symbols are good here, right? No, no. Okay, okay we need that. I need Physical. that. I need Physical, that. I need gather. that. Repair and gather. Thank Did you right. not flip yours back over? So we're starting. This is the, the new turn, is it not? No, this. 
This is he it. He just yeah. started the new job. I, I just I know, started. You're oh, still I never. <laughs> I always forget that thing. I <laughs> thought you were pointing to him for some reason. <laughs> All right, I am gonna. I, can't, I need, think I need to keep the blues, so I am gonna get rid of these two and move to there. End of turn, and I need an event card. And there's You're now in. This is caves and ruins. Come on, caves and ruins. Or no con. I d nope, no caves, no ruins. So time track by one. Okay. Ooh, we have a, we have log five hundred at the end of this time track. <laughs> I'm sure that's good, and nothing <laughs> bad will happen to us. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna move and roll. You can't move. Well, uh, yes, you can. I'm sure, sorry. I can. I got all my dices. Yep. Um. Yeah. All right. What color am I? Purple. So I spend two. Use one of that. Use that injury die. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll exhaust that baby. <laughs> okay. What do we anything okay. that can get you strength, gathering, and science? Unfortunately, oh, I no, do have. A, I nope. That's repair. That's the repair. It's the wrench. Oh, that is a wrench. So Ooh, basically, I have none of those. So nothing. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I exhaust right now because I'm going to roll whatever I have left. Okay. I'm also, because we're in a fully explored terrain space, I'm going to use my portable AI, which means I can roll a die from my spent pool. Ooh. Nice. So wow. I'm going to roll these four dice. Would you like something I'm, from I'll me? I'll take one from you, please. I mean, uh, the red one, probably? Or the wrench. Same same difference. Well, they the, both... Um, this has all kinds of pickaxes. Oh, you're right. That, that but I want to keep the blue for me. Fine. Um, let me see what I have here. We also have a free Vanguard symbol. So we need five total successes. Mm. Really no problem. Yeah, easy. Really, we only need four, because that's a bonus. Come on, Gathering. double me. Hey, look oh, at that. I got three. Gathering. Oh my gosh. That's four. Let's use this fifth one. No, we have five. Don't no, we? we have four. One, two, three, four, five. Where are you getting four? Isn't, isn't one of these? These are basics. Those don't help you at all? No. Oh, okay. I can turn them into shields. Got it. Or, before, I can re-roll, but we're done. There's yeah. no reason to stop. Agreed. Yeah. There's use three, that. you got a gathering. Yep. Let's just use this, because we're not going to save it for the next mission on the next planet. Let's just burn it up. Go. And we've done all five. Lincoln, log 240. Wow. Dun, dun, I know. Dun. That was some good rolling. That was some pretty good rolling. I called it. It's Captain's count. log, entry D. Four, two, seven. To the unknown creatures from the distant past in this distant world, I salute you. When our team finally began to crack the dome's inner layer, we expected a myriad of things. An ark, an archive, a vault, created by the people of this world to carry their legacy beyond the apocalypse. Yet again, we were wrong. <laughs> Inside, encased in protective carbon nanofoam, was an object as old as this planet, a steely that predated this civilization by millions of years. With her last dying effort, these creatures protected an artifact from an even older time, as resigned to the thought that all their history and culture, and even their very lives, were less important than this one cracked relic. I keep wondering whether humans would be capable of such sacrifice. The object they saved for us bears a clear resemblance to the architecture of the Eye of the Void. Mm. There's no doubt the builders who created the Eye and our star map also left this stone as they spread life to this planet. What does it mean for us? Are there other steelies like this on other planets? Was there one on Earth? The sides of the stele contain code we have yet to unravel, but atop it, we found one large symbol, alien yet familiar. A glyph that seems to symbolize uplifting, raising up, with several small dots scattered at its base. This last piece of the puzzle helped us understand some strange discoveries on this planet. The first evolved species here uplifted many other species through genetic engineering and bionic modifications, something that would never cross the minds of humans back on Earth. We will have plenty of time to ponder this and to study the steely on our journey to the next world. Let us hope this time we find more than just ashes. Hmm. It's funny because he said 
Stell or whatever one time, but then he kept oh, saying Steve. I re I've heard people on BGG say that. Like, why did they not get the voice actors to all pronounce it the same way every time? I mean, but he pronounced I, it in the same speech. In the speech. same, like, speech? That's yeah. pretty bad. So yeah. what does it say at the end? We have plenty of time to ponder this and study the Steely yeah. on our adventure, our journey to the next world. Let us hope that oh. this time we find more than just that. That's it. So proceed. Congratulations, you have completed the mission. Discard mission card M22. Move R06 Research Project Builder's Landmark from Research Projects to the Awaiting Envelope. Yes. Please hold that for some additional passengers. All right, next. Remove the O02 object from Eon's Pass from Bridge Cards to the Awaiting Envelope. Bridge Cards. Done, next. On many planets, you must return to your lander after fulfilling the ob your obje objective. Here, simply place all your crew member models back on the in the lander sector, sector one. Remove the L1 landing card from the scanner, then remove it from the game. Another landing on this planet is not possible. Hmm. If there are any unique discoveries left on the planet board, discard one uh, of these, ah. uh, if you have any, and gain these discoveries now. Important. Each unique discovery can only be found on one specific planetary, planetary exploration in the game. However, if you miss a unique discovery during your explora exploration, there's always an option to either return to the planet to find it, in, a, or mm. in rare cases, to gain it via other means mm. later on in the campaign. Open the ship book to page 25, leaving the planet, and begin ship management. You saw me pointing during the thing. Oh yeah, I uh, noticed it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot <laughs> to roll my injury die during yes. that last critical skill check, yes. Um, however, uh, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't change the outcome. Right, it can't change the outcome of the check because the only thing it can do, the, if I roll the proper symbol, is make me spend a die. And even though I don't have any dice to spend right now, I would just have to s sacrifice one into my crew compartment it doesn't change the skill check. It doesn't change anything. You'd have to exhaust a die, in other words. Correct. But you I had, had none to exhaust. To exhaust so. I had none to exhaust. So the worst thing that could happen would be to put one back in there for this mission only. And only if you rolled the drop. And only if I rolled the Come single on. drop. Come right. on. But it literally doesn't matter. It didn't matter anyway. There you go. My injury doesn't even affect me. All right. So this is how you end the game by going back up to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I noticed that during the final speech but as that's well. That's how you avoid injuries in the future. You just don't roll them. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Leaving the planet. Clean up components. Each crew member returns their section cards and section dice to their section compartment. Mm. Mm. Return all equipment cards from the planet, the lander, and the crew cards to the armory. Oh, these are all my dice over here. Don't forget your discarded ones. I didn't really get to see a lot of different cards. I, yeah, I you don't really use that many. I think I mean, the, one I that, the one exciting just one a that couple I drew games, was this hemostatic uh, so pressing. The equipment cards, please. Which I couldn't use, ultimately. I um, had a, actually, I had a neat one which I hadn't seen before, which lets me move one of these lead tokens from one pile to another. Mm. If we have like, you know, did you get your equipment until it's done? Or does this come back into the box, uh, or does it stay in my deck box? Because remember we dumped the ones... Lincoln. Do you think that's part of the procedure that we're about to do? Oh, no, okay. I thought you said something or not. <laughs> no, I just said equipment. I guarantee you it's about to tell oh, us. Okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I just said equipment and uh, crew. I said crew cards, are, are, which was this. All right. Return any POI cards with the X icon to points of interest. So, like, uh, there's a little icon that looks almost like a director's chair. It's like an X and a flag. So none? I guess none. Any with the uh, X icon to points of interest, any threat cards, which we didn't have, any optional missions to missions. So where'd, you, where'd we get that oh, one? Oh, I moved them over to here. Uh, optional mission, there you go. Return all lead tokens to the lead bag. Did we just clean those up? Those can all go I back hadn't put the them back in the bag yet, I wasn't sure. Return all turn tokens, time tokens. Equipment tokens, markers, crew member miniatures, the leader stand, the lander standee, the start token, and remaining dice to the box. That's just injury and stuff. The charges, correct? Yes, but not these. Don't touch these tokens yet. 
Don't touch them. Uh, <laughs> global conditions, back to global conditions. Make sure only the following are left on the table. The planet board with all revealed POI cards, non-optional missions, unclaimed unique discoveries, and threats, which we didn't have, decks of cards, the discovery decks, the event deck, and the injuries deck. Yep. Oh, that's right, these rank up. Crew boards. Mm -hmm. It's marked. This, is what, this yeah. is what we should still have. Crew boards, crew member cards, and any injury cards. So these make continue. The lander board with its mods, gathered discoveries and unique discoveries, success tokens, and the rank up card. We're all good. Go to page 26. We're back up on the ship docking. If there is at least one mission card on the planet board, or mission failed, start at step one. Oh, we were supposed to, because we, we were supposed to discard this one when we completed okay. it. Okay. So there are none on the board. Okay. So, because step one is mission failure. Got it. Which we didn't do. Discard excess discoveries. The total number of discoveries and unique discoveries is limited by the lander. It is five for the space ranger, so we're okay. Uh, if you have too many, you just have to choose what you get rid of. Uh, assemble available crew members. Each player takes all crew members from the resting crew into their hand. So why don't you divide those up by the colored... Uh, Leave the crew members on the crew boards that are already there. Keep put your put your used person in the center of the, where they belong. Sorry, Nikki's red, correct? Yeah. Nikki's yeah, pinkish. Uh, Here you go. So these are in your hand as opposed to on your board. Yep. That's it. Go to page twenty-seven. Debriefing. First, promote crew members. If the rank up card was flipped to the completed side, which it was by a total lucky artifact. Well, we would have ma made it anyway, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, no, we no, because you also had to do the specific skill check ah, on the card. Okay. Uh. Tutorial only is just collect the tokens. Okay. This is now the tokens we'll have to pay, I believe, to, uh. Uh, or at least we have to, you have that many collected anyway. If the rank up card was flipped to the completed side during the latest planetary exploration, each crew member who was on the away team and is still alive checks to see if they meet the criteria shown on the rank up, a number of success tokens based on their current rank. If they do, replace their current rank sleeve with a rank sleeve of one higher. Put the old sleeve back in the section compartment and return this crew member to their crew board. So, we don't actually have to spend the success tokens yet, but all these people... Which? This one who actually the went one down The one on planet, your away team. The one, we, the one you actually used okay. goes to level two. Gi Giovanna Nelly. She's happy. Ai Sama has ranked up. There's level two. It's in the middle-ish. Yep. All right. Uh, As you'd expect it to be. Yes. After checking all, if at least one of them gained a new rank, remove the rank up card, and you actually reshuffle those after you go through the entire rank up deck. If no crewmer is ranked up, you... Uh, that one goes back into the deck to be shuffled. All right, create the success pool. Take all the success tokens from the lander or the planet board and add any from the token bag, which will be left over from previous, plan previous planets. We now have a success pool. We may now buy or sell dice, but I'm gonna skip to the end of this because the upshot is we currently have six dice in each section, so we need six success tokens to buy a new die. Okay. So. We cannot uh, buy a new die. We could sell a die, which I don't think would be great. You cannot go down below four dice. When you sell a die, each player takes one die from their section compartment, returns it to the box, and adds four success tokens, if we really needed those for something else. Buying or selling dice can be done in any order, but all sections always have the same number of dice. Page 28, unloading. Unload unique discoveries. In order, resolve the when unloaded effect of any unique discoveries on the lander or the found discovery slot of the panic board, then move it to its corresponding slot. When unloaded, place research project R05 scintillating crystal shard in the awaiting envelope. So we will now have scintillating crystal shard going in the envelope. This one. We drew a card when we got it, so we, it does not have an ongoing research effect. Right. But it goes here in our cool trophy binder, so we remember that we got it. <laughs> and so we don't try to go back and get it later. Yep. We can. All right. 
Nope, we can't. We can't. Stand um, it. We can't stand it. Gain bonus bridge upgrades. If you fill a complete row of slots, oh, wow. which we haven't, but we're three-fourths of the way, you gain the card listed next to the row. So there's a thing here that tells you we get card B11, Hall of Trophies, if we get all four of these. Mm. Unload other discoveries. In any order, resolve the when unloaded of other non-unique discoveries. One of these... Uh, was when we gained it, we flipped the rank up card. Yep. The other one is when unloaded, move research project R24, monomolecular materials. To the awaiting envelope. Then remove this discovery from the game. Move, these, move this to gathered discoveries. Store the lander. Re return the lander board to the box and place any lander, mar lander mod cards in the awaiting envelope. Go to page 32, Med Bay. It is a whole, th it's a, I told you it's a procedures it game. Really it really is. Great? All right. Install Med Bay upgrades. Take all Med Bay upgrade cards out of the awaiting envelope. I'm going to save you some time. We have not researched any <laughs> Med Bay okay. upgrades. And insert them into the appropriate slots. Okay. Release non injured crew members. Move any crew members from the away team with no injuries to resting crew. So just your sent... Oh, just your one that we just ranked up to two, mm -hmm. who was well, on the away team. This one, yep. To resting crew. This basically means they cannot be used on the, uh, the next mission. I'm hurt. He only right. said uh, non -wounded. Ours are both yeah. injured, yep. These ones are basically just going to go in the envelope because they will be available to assign to jobs in the next round. Uh, let's see. Crew members already in med bay move one slot to the right, like the production process. They heal one slot to the right. Um, you may assign available crew members as therapists, which allows you to move them further. <laughs> Isn't that great? Any crew members who would move from a light injury slot are fully healed. Injured crew members go to med bay. Yay, here we go. Place any injured but alive crew members uh, from the away team into an empty med bay slot corresponding to the number of their injuries. So one injury is light injuries and there's two and three for moderate and critical. I'm trying. So Isata Sama, I, I don't think we'll need the injury card. I think this will tell okay. us that. But hold on for a second. I'm holding it. Uh, you can only have one crew member in each slot. If it's added to med bay and all those slots are filled, they would go to the more in the next higher injury I slot. I thought you were going to say morgue. No, <laughs> more, not more higher injury. If there's no such slot, if med bay is full, yeah. the crew member dies. Remove go. their card from the rank sleeve and place the sleeve back. Uh, make survival checks for for uh, only when they're in critical injuries. Okay, uh, and that you actually have to roll injury dice for that. Survival checks can be modified by some med bay upgrades. Go to page 36. <laughs> Memorial wall. Wow. So we don't need this yet, but yeah. it's so cool that it's there. If people die then? Yeah. People die. Place each dead crew member, wow. ones on crew boards that are unsleeved, into the lowest numbered empty slot for the crew member section. If there are no more slots available, place it into the first non-specific slot on page 38. Wow. Apply the bonus printed on the slot that you fill. So there are abilities that trigger from having people die. <laughs> and the more like security people that die, you get m the bigger bonuses. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is neat. All right. Um, if there are no more slots available, remove the crew member from the game instead. Um, store crew boards. The boards should be empty at this point. We can place them back in the box, which is, spoiler alert, it just means off camera for right now. <laughs> <laughs> and final. Page 39, save point. This is the most convenient time to end your PlayStation session and save your game. Reaching another save point usually takes two to four hours. Closer to four in our experience. <laughs> Although this was our first, you know, big struggle through it. If you want to continue, go to page two bridge. If you want to save your campaign and continue playing later, follow these steps. Record your current planet board. If the landing card that matches the name of your current planet was removed from the game, which it, we just did, skip this and proceed to step two. Return all threat cards, which we don't have. Return all POI cards on the planet board. 
to points of interest. So these do just go back in. I will put those in order later. Return all unique discovery cards, which there aren't any. Return all, replace all available crew members in players' hands into the awaiting envelope. So they will be as, essentially the ones we use next game. Unless we do the crew barracks action and get more. Right. Place the planetary scanner in the awaiting envelope. <laughs> Place any tokens from success, command, and energy pools in the token bag. There's actually a tiny little bag for this that I'll get. And then that goes in the awaiting envelope. So mm. don't do it yet, I'll find it. Okay. Um, any remaining POI cards to points of interest. If we have got a couple just sitting over there. Uh, close and store the planetopedia. Shuffle any discarded event cards back into the deck. And then return the discoveries decks, the event deck, and the injury deck to card tray A. Close and store the ship book. Neat. Ingenious supplies. Congratulations, crew. We yeah. made it down to the planet. Nobody died, and we did everything we wanted to do, and we found a Steely or Stell. We had to, stick, in, on had to stick you into the uh, the med bay, though. Uh, you know, it's a light bay. wounds. I'm not even okay. worried. Okay. I, 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 it's you barely a Yeah. I'll get a little bag for They're just checking so, to make sure that you're okay. What, what did you guys think of ISS Vanguard? And follow-up question, would you play it again since it's, it's a 20 to 40 hour campaign? Wow. What do you think, Nick? Uh, it was, I liked the storyline. Yeah, me too. I, that's, I mean, I would read a book or a comic, a uh, graphic novel about the storyline of the whole thing. Um, whoever came up with this is, has a crazy brain because of all the bookkeeping stuff. Um, was <laughs> like, a it's a mean? bookkeeper's dream I in mean, some way. I mean, it's yeah. really, it's so much of the bookkeeping, um, but I like the idea of the ranking up sleeves and that these characters can get um, more powerful. Yeah. The, um, the, the, the detail of the whole wrapping it up, like injured people have to go to a med bay and all of that, you don't just come back to the game the next time you play it all healed like brand up. brand new, yeah. Healed yeah. up and ready to go. Or just you you walk around with that wound for the rest of the game or whatever. So I mean, there's some crazy details that go are going on in this game, which makes it really unique. I must say. For sure. What do you think, Dave? It's a campaign game, 100 percent, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's not a game you're gonna buy so you can play a one non kind. We well, don't want that. You can. Sure. There I are, know you can, but why would you want? There to? are separate operations that are just single sessions that don't like have scenarios. Any, I believe that's right. Yeah, there's a separate book for that, and you can do do that separate from or in the middle of your campaign. I guess. I wanted to do more things in a way, right? Like, but I understand that this is the first planet, and right. that the other planets are gonna get more hairy, let's say, or more, I mean, did, I didn't spend any of my cubes, right? My charges for your I special ability. I, didn't, I never spent any charge for my special ability. I played maybe one card on your turn. Yeah. But I mean, that's probably how this first planet goes. And so there was something, not unsatisfying, but it's just like I had these things I could do that I never had a chance to do. And partly because I probably will do all of those things like three planets down. Right. Sure. So part exactly. of me is like, well, I want to be three planets I, down now. Right. I want to get a yeah. few levels into this video mm. game where all my actual powers are unlocked right. and I have to actually That's exactly what's going use on. the mechanics. Yeah. This is this has very opening story at level elements and we still have So there was a dryness to it, but it was balanced by that. the gorgeous production of it. I mean, all of this everything. Like all of the yeah various bits and pieces, just the recess for my away character yeah. to be in the in the the whole board and Or even for your little charges there there's a recess row there. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. it's all really, really cool. And the the different dice are interesting, which was I, I, I like that. And yeah. I could see where we didn't, we didn't get to that point, but I could see where buying more dice might offer you like 
I could see that notion of if you're really into this sort of stuff, your ability to shape sort of your future is kind of cool, right? In in yeah, you're choosing a path and kind of going that route. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's great. I mean, it's it's uh, it definitely. I like this type of stuff. But yeah. I, I mean, we played a game with Deborah recently that was a a minor league. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, campaign game, but it's this. I have the same reaction she does, which is, I just want to play these more. You know what I mean? Every time we play something like this, yeah, it makes it challenging because because well, do you have the time to invest? Exactly, in it? we can't. Yeah. It, I I I mean, to be honest with you, I'm going to try to invest some time in this. We should try to get together and do some of this, um, but uh, you know, it's you have to understand that going in. I feel it's going to be the most enriching and enjoyable if you invest in that and do choose the paths and make the choice, you know, rather than just doing the, the solo mission just the, thingies. Yeah. I think that I would much, much rather... Or just rather this first one and then never again. Yeah, exactly. Same. I mean, that's not... I mean, Again, you got to be w warning, you want to continue. I mean, yeah. it's, it's basically yeah. like a lot of campaign t style games with like, um, you know, Gloomhaven and Frosthaven sure. and yeah. all that stuff. Um, Which has not hurt those games, right? No, I mean, oh no, no, right. no. People, people cer certainly seem to be especially into that. when you know they're not ex inexpensive to buy these. So right. you kind of really want to do the whole thing if you're going to do it. It if does you, just yeah. You could. I, I mean, mean, can you play this one solo? You absolutely can. Yeah, I yes. mean, so you could continue. How you know? many? How many characters? You, well, are you, you run all the departments. The the all four. Uh, all four, but I believe for um, the planets, you just choose two people to go down to the planet. Same as if we if we only had three players, one person would control double departments, but we would still only bring down three, three. away team members. Ooh. So with one Wouldn't or that two be harder? Not really <laughs> because only because you can be in less places at the same time, you still have the exact same number of actions and right, but dice if you available. If you fork off where two are in one you direction and one is the other, then you can never get dice sharing, right? You can but never. you also I mean I, I, you get less dice sharing, yes, but uh, but for whatever reason, that's the way it is. One or two players has two away team members, and three has three. Wow, I would think two would be tough. But you always have all four, you know, crew yeah, compartments sure. available. Yeah, oh, I, I see what you're saying. So that means you have twelve dice, right? No, you always have all the crew members on the ship and available to assign to things, but you only send two people down to the ship with, with the their dice, dice yeah. and their cards. Uh, yeah. Okay, or down to the planet. Yeah. What do you think, Aaron? Oh, I mean, uh, basically the same. I, I really, li it's it's almost a simple game at heart with just dice management and s simple four or five types of actions. But I really think the real heart of it is in that campaign, and you know, it's the it's just the little glimpses of it that we're seeing right now with crew members getting promotions and technology. I mean, I'm excited to see research. us lose crew members and see what I, that Me does too. too. And I mean, I actually like that there's a little benefit for that. So <laughs> it's not the worst to leave, leave one person behind right. and then get a little, uh, you know, morale bonus out of it or something. You do leave them behind? Because it was, well, I, you, the I, memorial I, wall, I was wondering if that meant that we had to bring them the, oh, the no, body no, back. No, you can absolutely. <laughs> Whether they're killed by an alien guardian <laughs> robot or yeah. left behind when you take off, it's the same thing. They're just dead. Or they die from injuries in right. Med Bay. You and know, it's the same and thing. And obviously, barring some unbelievably bad luck rolls, that's not going to happen on that first planet scenario. No. I'm, I'm sure they make it very difficult. I don't to think die we got first crazy planet. lucky dodging no. a bunch of things <laughs> that could have happened to bad. They, you they would have had to be trying to get four injuries and purposely lose for that to happen. <laughs> right. And even that doesn't kill you, I think it just causes the evacuation. So I'm not going to spoil anything by showing any planets here, but there are 41 pages in this Planetopedia. Wow. So that's a lot of story and options available. Mm -hmm. And it's more um, than 41 options, right? Some planets are some probably planets places you're going to have to go gonna back. You're going to have to go back to. You're going to revisit more than once. Mm. Some are probably skippable. Right. And I didn't show this ahead of time, but like most campaign games, there's do not open until we Ooh. tell you data in here. Ooh. Dice! Including new dice. Ooh. Hey, wait a <laughs> There's cool stuff to still discover way down into the campaign. I'm going to show you one little touch, which is probably handled by the app, but I only know how it's handled by the paper logbook. So there are certain uh, you know, decisions you'll make and things you'll do in the campaign, and you'll actually like check little decision boxes in the high-level numbers here to show we went to this planet and did X, or we destroyed <laughs> this installation 
And then when you go back, it'll like branch to different paths or oh, have different results. Interesting. So you'll record certain things and, and you know, affect the branch of the story, basically. So there's definitely things that you do that will change uh, future events. That's neat. Yeah, very cool. Well, thanks for teaching us, Aaron. You bet. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time.